Good evening, and welcome back to another episode of Once Upon a Witchlight. As always, we would really appreciate it if you would like this video, subscribe to the channel, and check the bell so you never miss a single update. Uh, this week's reading of the comments are, I thought about I thought about choosing one particular episode, but I went back and I chose a different one, and I chose the very first episode of Beneath Dark Wings. Whoa! Wow. Surprisingly, wow. surprisingly, I'm going to save the other episode for next week. I think. Uh, surprisingly, the first episodes of a lot of our campaigns get a lot of comments. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. I decided to pick Beneath Dark Wings, uh, which is not quite our total humble beginnings, but it's it's pretty early. It's on. close. It's, it's very. Uh, close. And there's some Still good comments. Pretty humble. There's yeah. some pretty good comments. Uh, humble. Quote number one. When your campaign doesn't start in a tavern, you bring the tavern to the start of the campaign. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's exactly That's right. Pretty good. Number two, three and a half hours in, and I realized Felix is supposed to be warped from over the garden wall. Hey! <laughs> Number three, me. A man with all the D&D shows I watch, I'm surprised I'm not crushing on a PC. You guys, Australian Goliath Barbarian with a good heart and good sales. <laughs> me. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Number four. This is going to be over 200 hours of entertainment to listen to while I work on my schoolwork. Thank you guys so much for what you do. Aww. Aww. So maybe these uh, quotes will inspire you to go watch Beneath Dark Wings. Uh, and then maybe next week's quotes Ugh. will inspire you to start another campaign. Ooh. But either way, we really appreciate it. Make sure you leave a comment under this video, and maybe your uh, comment will be read uh, as soon as Rich uh, finishes updating uh, the rest of the uh, Witchlight episodes. <laughs> uh, enjoy tonight's episode. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you guys want to play some d, &D? I want yeah, people I to suppress their cool. gags as I much do. as possible. Do you yeah. feel like it? Uh, yeah, I'd like to roll some dice. Oh, well, that's not going to happen. <laughs> yeah, that be roll that beautiful bean footage, Rich. <laughs> Once upon a witch-light hour, the sleeping queen stirred in her tower, and through grand halls past lock and key, came to her slumber dreams of three. The first brought laughter filled with fright, the second love defiled by spite, the third a world of pure delight. She welcomed these, they were her own, but soon from porcelain lips a groan, her silvery dreamscape now forsaken, to pain from which she'd not awaken. Something blighted had come hither, foul as nightshade creeping thither. From yon the grave-like curse did wither. The little prince wept in his spire, his wounded heart had one desire. A ballad from the dreaming queen could turn his maelstrom mind serene. He vowed her rescue, speech sincere, but toys would be his shield and spear. And so he scoured for one full year. In springtime wreathed in parenthood, the prince first found a toy of wood, a doll set, beasts and wild things. But listen close and each one sings, a song of child, owl, and bear, a song that calls the spirits there, a song for monsters with much hair. When summer heat steamed like a kettle, the prince then found a toy of metal, a rocking horse with ashen mane, Around its neck was draped a chain. Its horn and eyes and nose shoot flame with mighty hooves and sturdy frame. No better steed one could proclaim. He searched from autumn's harvest throne. The prince then found a toy of bone. Lettered blocks stacked to the sky when turned to words could only lie. Deceit known to the hounds of hell makes for a potent hex or spell of souls, of sin, of shadow fell. Through winter's chill, from peak to pass, the prince then found a toy of glass, marble spun in measured motion, like careful thought or certain notion, each glinting cat's eye seeing all, from stars beyond the cosmic sprawl, to inner strength and mind's recall. When season stopped, the final day, at last the prince found halves of clay. He shed a tear, this would not do, his favorite toy was split in two. It stank and had a horrid face, but in his heart held special place. Through toil this crack he would erase. The day has come, no time for rest. The fateful toys placed in a chest, with stripes of white and stripes of red, just like a big top by his bed. The little prince prepares a flower for either outcome, sweet or sour, and makes a wish for love, for power. Once upon a witch light hour.
last time on Once Upon a Witchlight, you engaged in a cook-off to the death, potentially. Are you happy? Uh, potentially. Uh, Pierre Escargot is currently in hospital, uh, being treated for the wounds he sustained during Electrum Chef. You, however, as a group, were able to both win and lose, as some of you, as the judges, found yourself found yourselves coming in second place <laughs> to the up and comer up and comer Creme Le Creux, as he w- wins the title of Electrum Chef, and his meal was served before the entire court of the Soggy Court at an elaborate dinner. <clears throat> It is there that you were able to wind down from a very, very, very long day. A day that felt like weeks, but was only a day. Before you made your way to to the room that you were staying in, knowing that the next day you would be leaving the Soggy Palace and venturing off into the rest of Downfall uh, in the effort to make it towards the location that you had been instructed is where you would meet um, your ride to Bavlorna's cottage, just a day away. And it is here that you find yourselves, in that room, this beautiful palace room, an elaborate, an elaborate bed in the very center, easily large enough to house all of you, a roaring fireplace in the corner, a large tea table, Uh, an adjoining bathroom. It is lush and lavish, as Torbeck realizes that Wigglewog has been dead this entire time. (laughs) (laughs) I forgot that we hadn't shared all the details of our adventure with you, Torbeck. Oh, you weren't there for that. This kind of feels like he's always been here. Yeah, I guess that was just yesterday. Yeah, I could picture him kicking him off the tower. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Um, That's how it happened. Oh. Um, no, no, no. He was already dead when I pushed him off the tower. Yes, well, yes, yes. It was a tragic ballooning accident. Many such cases. So we think. Allegedly. <laughs> you think he was dead. Why didn't we tell Morgo? There was so much happening, uh, it felt cruel to tell her this news in the circumstance we found her in. Yeah, you just yeah. don't want to get in the middle of these things, you know? It's like with these kind of, you know, feudal types with the Dacronian customs, they're like, oh, you must send his bones back to be interred. It's like, we weren't going to do that. So if they found, oh, we're Wiggle Wong's family, we have a blood curse on you now, a blood feud, because you didn't return his bones. You know, like, do frogs even have bones? And then we're like, oh yeah, I remember that they do. Yeah, it's not a good song. It's not a good scene, man. You gotta, so, you know. Well done, Grego. Yeah. Using the word interred. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know. And bones. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah, so, I mean, it would have caused, it causes more trouble than good, because See, the thing about... Oh, wait, who's he? Earmuffs. Earmuffs, I should like do this. Sometimes it's all right to lie. <laughs> <laughs> or, or by omission lie. Uh, by omission, by uh, uh, omission. Um, sure. Uh, because what someone doesn't know will not hurt them. Oh, Torbeck shouldn't have been told this. I mean, it was only like an hour after Torbeck allegedly murdered Agden that Torbeck started talking about it. But sometimes it's not okay to lie. Like when we told you that we was the one that was kind of a bunch of knocks for Mr. Witch and kind of was stalling for you to get arrested. And we told you that because we didn't feel, we felt morally obligated to. With Morgo, eh, we don't really care as much. Torbeck's <laughs> <laughs> oh, gonna throw up! <laughs> no, I have to say I am uh, leaning towards Torbeck's position here. We do need to find a way to break the news, and it's gotten to the point where at this point, it's going to be a little awkward. We've told such, we such an elaborate lie. I mean, we're all in frosty. The web that we have woven. No, honesty is a good policy. I, I, I think that we should find a way to break the news. For what kind of game? I, yeah, why don't we just never see her again? We don't you have know, to I have like that better. We don't have to think about this in terms of game. They, they, they would want to know the news. If you were Morgo, wouldn't you want to know? 
Look, if she is never going to find out one way or another, wouldn't you want to just give her hope just one day? Or just maybe so she could fantasize that he's doing out, he's, he's doing all right out there. He's in the summer court. He's a, he's a brave knight for the summer queen. Yeah, see? It feels play. wrong, eh? If our play was any indication, she's going to forget about him in like three days, probably max. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't yeah. think that's going to happen. Well, to be fair, I did take some artistic license. <laughs> some? <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. I mean, the volcano lair was a bit of a... A little bit of a passion project. No, no, no your entire part, portrayal man. of... Uh, <laughs> as a... Uh, it was it was cruel almost. Thinking back now that I cruel a volcano lit. That was the best part. No, it was no, really cool. No. Talking about about what? The name that I always fucking cannot remember. Wiggle 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 Wiggle. Yeah, I'm talking about Wigglewog. Uh, it's portrayal. Uh, yeah. Your 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 rendition of him in the story was. I mean, you don't want to play Wiggle so I'm gonna <laughs> say you, you really care about him so little you don't even know his name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know, Un but Frosty, unbelievable. <laughs> Frosty, that is so un- just, just because Darren doesn't care doesn't mean Frost doesn't care. <laughs> that guy from the carnival? <laughs> yes. God, he had a stupid sweater. Uh, no, he always wore the plaid. The he, dumb plaid. He was very hard to look at. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Wait, so that is Wiggle Wolf person there dead? Oh, yeah, God. no, they're dead. Yep, yep. That's so sad. Well, technically, we still once again never checked. So, oh, wait, just really so think you so. didn't check to see if they were dead before you kicked them off the top of a tower? We didn't check after that either. Uh, how, so, how did he actually die? Tragic balloon accident. That's Classic. not very descriptive. <laughs> uh, There's a lot of missing details. We didn't witness it. We were told secondhand from the fairy dragon in a magical cage. That had to it takes a magical key. So wait, you're saying a kid fairy dragon in a cage, you couldn't even get out and check on the state of his friend, told you his friend was dead, and so you kicked him off a tower and then didn't check to see if he really was dead? Well, he was sort of like, oh, great Scott, my frog companion squire, he be yeah. dead. Oh, no. Sort of like bumming me out, so I just, you know, kind of pushed him off. Wait, so you didn't even him. touch him? You just used your cane and kicked him off? It was pretty gross. <laughs> yeah, yeah, was, I wasn't going to touch him. I'll tell you that. Yeah, yeah. Look at him. So, kind of stank a little bit, too. So, yeah, so we're making yeah. understanding correctly. You guys didn't cause his death. Correct. He was already dead and we showed up. So why didn't you tell Morgo? Yeah, it seems like a no-brainer. And this is Torbeck saying this. <laughs> I don't know. It just got away from us. <laughs> yeah. I just feel so bad because on the one hand, I'm like, oh, Wiggle Wog died to rescue Hootsie. But then I'm like, oh, well, you know, when I saw that he died and Grimmy kicked him off, I'm like, well, it was mostly Talavar, right? And now I'm starting to feel bad again. <sighs> Look, we didn't kill him. All we did was just move his body from one place to another place so we didn't have to look at it. That's all. Yeah, but then you lied to his person. We didn't lie. We didn't lie. We just didn't tell her. And maybe yeah. said a bunch of stuff that wasn't true. Is it a lie, <laughs> We didn't specifically lie to her, right? That's right. Yeah. Exactly. What did say? When you said that I'm sure he's out there somewhere waiting for you, that's a lie. I'm pretty sure that's the case. I mean, he's, like, he's still there. Yeah. <laughs> he ain't going anywhere. He listen. Well, she takes a right instead of a left out the out in that swamp out there. She's gonna find him. Hold on. So if Torbeck, over the course of this magical adventure, drops dead, and you all just push Torbeck's body behind some trees, are you gonna not tell Clementine? Does Clementine speak common? Yes. All right then. I might consider it. What do you think, fellas? We had to find Clement Arms first. Yeah. yeah. That's a very common name, I think. <laughs> well, she's <laughs> technically property of uh, the witch like Carnival, oh, ain't she? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's not true. That's, that is we're not going to unpack that moral quandary. <laughs> That's uh, at this point. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Gideon, yeah. if I ever died and 
he came to you and said, where's Twig? Would you lie to Pigtunia? Twigsy, an, an entire fleet of rabbit folk try to take you down. You killed like 50 of them. I don't even think it's possible that you can die. <laughs> Answer the question, Gideon. What was the question again? I got so confused by the war crimes. <laughs> Gideon, yeah? if I died and Pigtunia came to you and asked where Twig was, would you tell her that I was dead or would you lie to her? I wouldn't lie to Pigtunia, but I love Pigtunia. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't love Morgo? I barely know Morgo. I met Morgo like six hours ago. <laughs> we met Pig Tunia like six hours I ago. I met Pig Tunia like 26 hours ago. It's completely different. Okay, yeah, I guess that math checks out. She's also a cute pig. It reminds me of the farm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, She's a pretty cute pig. pig. Yeah. She's got a little petunia on her head. Well, it was one of pig companion, you know, so once we found Pig Tunia, it was, uh, I mean, it was all those curtains for me. And you, Twigs, yeah, I mean, really. Oh, no. I just feel real bad about it. And if Morgan shows up and starts saying more stuff about Wigglewog, I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep my mouth shut. Tell Torbeck about it. Look, this is all okay, I'm going to say about Torbeck, it. did you know that Wigglewog's dead and they've been lying to Morgan this whole time? Torbeck just found out too. Yeah, and now every time she comes around, we're gonna have to lie to her, otherwise we're gonna get our friends. No, I propose that we tell Morgo. <laughs> this is how laws get a little out of hand. First of all, she's gotta be defending the king. Like, how often could she possibly be coming around, shirking all of her responsibilities? She's gonna be right. <laughs> 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 Morgo's like a valiant knight. She's going to be right around the king the entire time. I mean, we're leaving. We're going to Babylonus for dinner. You know what I mean? And we're to see Morgo again. To be fair, when we met her, she was quite nasty to us, I might add. Oh, yeah. Um, well, she wouldn't talk to us even. Yes. To be fair, yes. the first time I met you guys, you destroyed my entire home. And you still cooked us dinner. That's true. Yeah, now Morgo's gonna protect you. I mean, she is doing us a solid. It was it was a fair trade, right? We made a deal. Yeah. We made good on our end. She's making good on hers. Yeah. Look, Frost. This is what I'll say. I don't. Our apologies if this seems crass. I frankly don't give a fuck. All right. <laughs> you want to tell her? Go ahead. I don't really care. I just I'm, I haven't slept with slept in what feels like probably months. the equivalent of Earth months. <laughs> At least three or four of them. Fucking months. And I don't want the last thoughts in my mind before I go to sleep to be about a poor frog lady weeping right. over the <clears throat> dead body of some poor frog fella that I knocked Did off a tower. Probably broke every last bony hair. <laughs> Oh, Primmy, yeah. do you know off. that in the Feywild, if you curse at your friend before bed, night never comes and you have to live an entire another day without sleep? Oh, no! <laughs> well, it's good that he didn't curse Adam. He just cursed. You know? Wait a minute. Yeah. Into the ether, if you will. What about those free rules? To live by. Yes. Yeah. No taxis, backsies. No. You gotta be happy. A before E, except after C. No. no. Uh, no. Uh, no. Uh, uh -oh. Gerald always lies. No. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, what were they? That was that was three. Oh, that was that was three wrong, wrong all three times. Uh, um, the first one wasn't right. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure no takesies back to it. <laughs> well, it's perhaps shit. covered by two rules <laughs> implicitly, but that's not the rule. Oh. Uh, I'm so glad you're here, Frost. I really thought I'm you had too. A little hospitality. You can Ooh, check out any time you like, but you can never leave. <laughs> oh, that's got a nice radio. Well, that's actually real close to how the Feywild works, yeah. Ah, see, I wasn't paying attention to Frost. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you know, I used to have a friend named Garamy. Garamy? Yeah, J E R E M Y, Garamy. Did he smoke cigarettes? <laughs> What's a cigarette? Uh, it's a small tobacco product. Nope. You didn't see me when I was in my film noir stage? I looked so cool. <gasps> oh, when you were blowing the smoke out your mouth hole. Mm -hmm. You want one? A cigarette? Hey, you don't yeah. want her a cigarette, man. No, don't give her a cigarette. She's like two feet tall. I'm she's trying. probably 80. She's, she's like 8,000 years old. She's older than all of us. Yeah, but no. she's 80% lung. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, man. Yeah, I'll, tr she's... I'll try it. No, don't try it. She looks frogs constantly. She's into hallucinogenics, yeah. all right? Look, she's on way hotter stuff. Oh, she's I know she's on way hotter personality. Don't add to it, man. No, 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 no. This is... 
I'll light it. Oh. Ah. <laughs> what do I do with it? You just suck on You put it out and then you walk no, away. No, not that side, the other side. <laughs> You on the other hand are not allowed to touch. Now I suck on it? Yep, now, now you suck on that and there you go. See the smoke? That's all it is when you exhale. That's, that's, that's really not too much to it. Mm-hmm. You oh, you it's, go oh, it's already gone. It's <laughs> <laughs> pulled one. <laughs> Did you swallow? <laughs> she lung swallowed. No, you're supposed to ash it. Oh god. Did I do it right? Yeah, I get it. Not even Crummy, don't look at me. <laughs> Crummy, where'd it go? Away. You did it. Good job. Now you can say you did it. I didn't like that at all, and I'll never want to do it again. That was That's a very did. good lesson, Crummy. <laughs> To what? teach Twig not to get started on tobacco products, but keep it on, keep on with the frogs thing. I mean, that's totally fine. Yeah, that's totally okay. Cool. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, Torbeck has been conflicted about this entire <laughs> conversation from the beginning until now. You want to like my frog? Okay. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, you you lick you lick the frog, and it has a a strange salty but also sweet flavoring to it. Um, and at first, you just feel a warmth in your mouth, and then all of a sudden, all of the colors that you're looking at amplify by a hundred times, and it doesn't necessarily. M- it's like walking through it, the Beatles in their drug days made music videos uh, to the ability they could today. That's what it would be like. I see. So everything is yellow submarine. Yeah. Not the blue meanies. Got to see Torbeck and Deep. Licking his frogs and heat. It's a great song. <laughs> a man, uh, not a mandolin. What is the uh, sitar comes in? <laughs> I am very nervous in looking at the canisters on Torbeck's back. And like, <gasps> <gasps> Nothing <sighs> happens with them. <sighs> Torbeck will just kind of like sit there. But it it, it is beautiful. It's as if the the Feywild itself was already to an extreme, but now you see it in a way that feels unreal. Torbeck will be mesmerized and uh, content to not have to uh, momentarily think about the conversation ahead. So with this one, you just want to make sure you don't get him when they're bigger. It's called Hypno Toad, and she puts it back in her her pouch. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Not technically a frog, but you know, mm. I like the word frog better than toad. I'm exhausted. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna get into this one bed, and I'm gonna go to sleep. I look around. How many, how many beds? There's are one. There? I'll get the. Uh, look big enough. I'll sleep at the foot of the bed like usual with Hootsie. All right, get you get in first. I'll get in after you. Uh, does anyone hear that knocking sound? It's gonna keep me up. What is that? What? Is that in the wall? What is that? What is that? Yeah. What is that noise? And as you look around, you realize it's not coming from the doors, either one of the doors. It's coming from the window. (laughs) (laughs) All right, be cool, man. And if you go chasing rabbits, (laughs) it'll be like a PSA. Everybody will run and jump out the window. Remember what the doorman said. Uh, Will someone get that? I I mean, yeah, sure, I guess. What, uh, I'll, I'll walk over to the window. Is it, is it, do I there's, see something at the window? There's a curtain in front of the window. Uh, I open the. I swing wide the curtain. You swing wide the curtain, and immediately you are met with a flapping pig, as Pig Tunia is outside <gasps> of the window, uh, pushing her snout into the window itself, trying to get your attention. Pig Tunia, oh, you're back! I was so worried something had happened to you, but I knew it hadn't because my spell hadn't dropped. But I was still so worried. Cause I love you so much. Get in, let her 
Rin. Okay, here we go. I'll lift the windows. You open so, the window. I she flies it. in and immediately uh, makes a beeline directly towards Twig oh, and begins to rub her you. snout up against Twig's nose. And they give each other bunny kisses as Twig wraps her arms around Pigtunia, throws herself on the floor, and they start rolling around. Pigtunia's oinking and squeaking. Twig is squealing. They're so happy to see each other. <laughs> Welcome back, little pig. Oh, Pig Junior, what have you been doing? <coughs> Twig immediately goes still and her eyes gloss over as she begins to communicate with Pig Junior. <laughs> the um, oh, wow. 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 It's further confused because Torbeck's doing the same thing. <laughs> 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 And uh, she begins to uh, she begins to have a conversation. Uh, in the meantime, Derek, roll a d twenty for me, please. Oh. I'm gonna roll this big one. It's always Derek. <laughs> I would take a five. Would you? Here you go. As as the um, as Twig's eyes go blank, and she begins to communicate with Pigtunia. A minute. Two minutes pass. And you're staring out the window. The breeze is coming in as it uh, as it waves the uh, the curtains back and forth. It's a soft, gentle breeze, mm. and it brings with it all the smells of the swamp. But your attention is not caught on the wind or the sounds or the smells, but the giant glowing orb in the sky. As you look up at the full moon, this is your time to hunt. Or you are vampire. <laughs> vampire? Yeah, you got the vampire one. You were convinced that you were a vampire, you aren't. <laughs> <laughs> so sleepy. Oh. I'm going to bed now. And you can just go ahead. Mm-hmm. You can go to bed. You don't need to like announce it or anything. Yes. We're going to stay up a little bit. We're not going to be quiet. Well, I can't get to sleep. (laughs) (laughs) Oh. Oh. Perhaps I'll join you. Yes, yes, yes. I was all ready to go to sleep, but I'm being hit with a second wind. (laughs) Oh, yeah. No, it's nice. I I always love when I get hit by a second wind. Mm Mm-hmm. Feels very restorative. Should we perhaps play some sort of a game? No, I mean, do you know how long we've been a fucking week? Twig's <laughs> eyes pop open. Oh my gosh, I have some really important information to tell you. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, so, to, um, Pictunia got the information to Sir Talvar, and she was able to bring a key to him and get him out of his cage. He is going to head on his way. Um, They have uh, repaired the balloon enough that they think that they can make it. And she specifically said they. Meaning, who's the Taliban, the pig? No, Big Goose here. What she said was they have repaired the balloon and they are going to make their way to the summer court and tell the summer queen of what you have done for Sir Talavar. Who's who's they? Like Talavar in a, in a can-do attitude? I don't know. Maybe maybe the snacks? His mustache? I don't know. Though <laughs> Big Junior yeah. did say he had quite the dapper stash for such a tiny dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so of all of the things to get you, yeah, that's, can, can, can you can you ask Pig Tunia if she saw a frog fella working on the balloon? Uh. Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> and she immediately goes back into her trance for a little bit. Oh, plot twist! Look. He might not be dead after all. Don't get your hopes up. <laughs> um, Torbeck never gets his hopes up. <laughs> good. It's a good life lesson. The toad is helping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> Expectations. That's good. Right. Dreams. I mean, I'm close. Yeah, you bit. know, anything good. that could potentially be good in Torbeck's <laughs> life is just... Taking the edge off. Yeah. Exactly right. God, you reminded me of every Ben made I ever had. <laughs> um, that I had to kick out. <laughs> yeah, you know. I'm glad you're feeling you're feeling nice, Tulbeck. Takes the edge off, right? Yeah, quiets yeah. the voices. Yeah. 
Yeah, as long as you don't show up to band practice like that. Fucking Kenneth. Oh, um, she said she did see a frog man. And it was a frog man, not a snake. When she got there, the them. frog man was trying to help Stratelfor out of the cage, but couldn't do it. Uh, uh, could you ask Big Tunia like the placement of his neck and head <laughs> on his shoulders? Well, like if it was like, <clears throat> or like, <clears throat> or it was like, <laughs> Um, we may have a zombie on our hands, but <laughs> <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Sure. <clears throat> Greco, you really are. She goes back into her trance. Tormek doesn't like this talk. <laughs> oh, man. That'd be crazy if Wigglewog was a zombie, man. He was just trying to eat Talibar or something and ends up just helping him repair the boat. Oh. What a wacky turn of events. Oh, man. Clemmy, did you do anything that would have turned him into a zombie? That's your whole thing, isn't it? No, all I did was just push him off the fucking leg. Oh, what is, it, what is a good baron's like? Oh, Clemmy, you, your good friend, Sotelavar. I mean, that's Sotelavar, Wigglewog. I will return him as a zombie because that's kind of my thing. Well, the really good news is if he's some kind of like helpful zombie, I think that washes us of all responsibility in any kind of which way, shape, or form. We don't have to talk about him because everything we said him, he's walking around. We don't have to take our hats off anymore. We don't have to take our hats off anymore, mentioned. you know? I mean, he's, uh, I think he's out there. Well, so, well, uh, hold on. My little... Big Junior says his head was exactly the way a head should be. <clears throat> Never mind. We're good. <laughs> I can't I'm... do it. <laughs> what can't you do, Frost? I don't want to hurt any of you. Okay, then don't. I don't think you could. I'm going to tell you an important secret. Okay. And okay. then I must go, and I must feed, and I don't want any of you to stop me. Okay. okay. I am a vampire. No, you're not. I'm an immortal. No. I am a creature of the night. No. Damn. And now cool. I must transform into my vampire form. And frog. find a victim to feed I on. I just called you frog. And that's I've because you're high frogs. on frogs, but I'm not going to hurt you, Twig. <laughs> yeah, so here's the thing. You did this once before, remember? Oh, you felt you. very silly about it. And you said afterwards. It was all a ruse. Not you it was all a ruse to distract <laughs> you from the fact that I'm a true vampire. But that's very... I, I put one leg over the ledge of the window. But you told me. <laughs> That if you ever did this again, I was supposed to tell you no, nah, -uh, no, you're not. Eh. Yes. So uh, that's what I'm doing, Frost. But it's for your own protection, so that no. I wouldn't drain you of the blood in your body. You're delicious. Then delicious do it, blood. Frost. Bite me and I'm not going it. to. Don't tempt Bite me. Bite me and Don't prove tempt it. me, Twig. I will. Look at my throat. I can't even thing. look at you right now. <laughs> I can't even look at you right now. Maybe this is the Toad's talking. <laughs> Um, but Turbic has a question. Uh, how many times does Frost have to say that he's becoming a vampire or is a vampire? Like, or a werecat. Until, you know, like, he's got a serious condition. I mean, this is, what, a dozen times, five <laughs> times, three times? There's a Torbeck, very it's clear, not a condition. There's a clear pattern it's here. A curse. Uh, it's uh, a curse that I'll have to live with. Through immortality for the rest of my undeath. Uh, let me let me let me stop you right there, Frosty. Uh, Clemmy, uh, <laughs> yeah. you said that the, the Trinity is in the uh, is in the your gumbo, correct? Yeah. Meemaw's gumbo. That's right. That's and right. who is the Pope, and how much Pope was in that? Oh yeah, I added a lot of Pope into the gumbo. If you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> that's 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 garlic. Do you know how much garlic you've ingested by your own? Rules and laws. You shall be dying on the floor right now and shriveling up. Then yeah, I must be even window. more quickly than I than I am now. Then I need blood to do it. I dare you. You've left me no choice. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> I bite. I attempt to bite Twig. Yeah, roll, roll to attack. Oh my god! Oh god, Torbeck can't handle this right now. Natural twenty. Oh no! Oh, he severs her head from her body. Oh, I love that little guy. Uh, I, I, because I'm a tabaxi, I get like yeah. teeth damage. Right? What yeah. is that? 
I don't know. What Strength. is that? Uh, plus dex. <laughs> what am I even rolling? Torvek is in full freak out mode. <laughs> oh no, you get claw damage, not teeth damage. Yeah, I feel like I should get yeah, teeth damage. Yeah, uh, is it just 2d4 then? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Oh, thank God. Oh, yeah, that's that's fine. You don't know how much health. <laughs> oh, minimum damage. Six, six health points. <laughs> okay. You watch as with almost an unnatural speed, Frost leaps from the windowsill where he had been perched directly onto Twig's tiny body and sinks his tabaxi teeth into her neck. You watch as blood spurts everywhere as she begins to squeak, scream and, and wriggle. She did not expect this to happen. Though she was antagonizing Frost, she is Twig. And this kind of thing is far beyond her. She's high and on frogs. she is high on frogs. <laughs> and she begins to scream, and you see as her eyes start to roll back in her head, but Frost's not really Dracula. She'll all be over soon. <laughs> hey, 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 come on. Screaming. Hey, roll some more damage. Out. Drop it, drop it. <laughs> I, get, I get over to him and I put my, uh, I, put, I, get, I take my hand wow. and I, I press Fix. into the, I press into the sections of his jaw <laughs> right around here from the back trying to get him to like, <laughs> hey, drop her, drop her, <laughs> let go, hey, drop it. It would not be hard for you, someone of your strength to no. pull me away. It all right, well, if I, I do so. I want to pull him away without him uh, decapitating her though, ideally. I, he, I'm assuming you have not attempted to decapitate. Twig. No, no, no. I just punctured an artery and that was to stuck. devour as much blood as, as you, possible. You you watch as Twig's body sinks to the ah! ground. Blood ah! spilling out of the open artery. Ah! And she as her blood. eyes begin to roll back in her head. Gideon Mr. Gideon, I don't feel so good. Hoochie I'm off I'm sorry, Twig. <laughs> It was the only way for me to sustain my undeath. No, it's okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got this. I got this. And I'm like putting the mashed bananas up against you. And there's blood coming. Ah! 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 There'll be 10 points of healing. 10 points of healing. Oh! Oh, there's blood everywhere. Ah! Wow, it's sticking like yellow flume. Ah! Oh! Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm so Uh, tired. Very, very quickly, the wound in her neck is covered in uh, red banana. Um, but it does begin to heal very quickly as she, her breath starts to rise and fall more quickly. That was wild! Oh gosh, it's like Diddy Kong's collectibles and Donkey Kong 64. Oh, man. Uh, 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 thank you. I'm sorry I had to do I did that. It now. Uh, Another day. <clears throat> How are you feeling, Frost? Think you can just go to bed like this? Yeah, you just sit on the bed, man, all right? Stop trying to eat people. I won't need to feed again for another whole day. I mean, to be fair, I asked for it, but I didn't actually think you would do it. <laughs> well, that's true. Hoochie, yeah. I know you saw and heard all of that. I'm going to spin this into a lesson about actions having consequences. <laughs> I feel like a lot of this has been a good lesson, but this is another one. Don't ask for troubles. I don't know. I'm so tired. <laughs> my, my second wind has left. <laughs> Torbeck was going was to climb into bed against everyone's protest, but Torbeck's going to go sleep in the corner. <laughs> yeah, it's a little awkward now that the bed's covered in like a pint of blood. Oh, and Torbeck will like, quickly like shuffle over to the corner and like shrink down to the corner. <laughs> We're going to continue to be friends. You're going to have to learn how to sleep in blood, Gideon. This will be a common occurrence. Yeah, oh, because you're a vampire. <laughs> Why would we is, have to do that? This is the- <laughs> <laughs> Yes. This is the second time in less than 24 hours yeah, that, was like that he hours has ago. become a vampire. Yeah. I mean, listen, if this is going to be like a new thing, can you just learn to be less sloppy when you eat people and try and reduce no, the body count just know, like mildly? Think about the way that I sucked down that cigarette, you know? I just... And then it was gone. So if you could just latch on to the side of my neck, and then you just make it like a suction cup with your lips. I, it's not like a straw. I can't just pull all the only the blade. There, there's but also you're in a, you're in a mad rush when you when you when you feed on blood. In fact, now that I've been on you, if you wanted to be a vampire, then. You could feed on me. Okay. We could be immortal together for eternity. Frosty. Twig leaps at you and bites into your wrist. <clears throat> <sighs> I don't know, man. Do we just go to bed? <laughs> Torbeck's quietly sobbing in the corner. <laughs> Frosty. Frosty, you don't. Oh, 
oh no, you're a vampire? Yes. You don't have the right sleeping utensils. Do you think that these frogs have coffins? Do you think, did I do it? She's got blood all over her mouth. Yes. Well, uh, In the morning, you'll die oh and you'll God, come back to life. Oh, God, there's a hair between my teeth. Where's, oh, uh, uh, minstrels? No, no, no. We're not we need a coffin. Frogs. No, we, don't <laughs> we need a coffin. We need a get, coffin. Get, would you Just, kindly please punch Frost until he goes to sleep? I'm going to bed. <laughs> I'm going to sleep in that <laughs> And I can crawl into the bloody bed. What kind of would you kindly is this? Uh, it's just suggestions. Wisdom saving throw. <laughs> It's just the actual spell. Yeah. Yeah. Punch him! Oh, yeah! <laughs> like, oh, Ross, you don't know what's coming, man. You think you're getting away from this? I'm going to put you to bed so fast. I'm going to tuck you in. No I'm going to read you a night you night book. You're going to bed. You're going to see stars. Oh, you're going to bed. You're going to see stars and maybe guards. You're going to read me <laughs> such a nice little book. You're going to remember it for the rest no, of your night time. Not a I'm just going Here to I bed. come. Here comes I'm the choo choo train. Open your mouth, I'm gonna punch you in there. Here I come! I start hitting Frost as many times as I can until so he's under down. <laughs> it only takes the first punch. As you punch in, Frost's eyes immediately roll back into you his really head. Don't need and to- he- <laughs> of his life. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Good night. Good night, Mr. Grammy. Torbeck, what? Do you want some comfort tonight? <laughs> oh, Torbeck doesn't Hoochie, know. Hoochie, why don't you go sleep with Uncle Torbeck? Oh, look at oh, Torbeck. Look at Hoochie. She's coming up to you. She's <laughs> putting a little paw on her shoulder. She's doing this. Not so close to the hand, so you have choke claws. No, 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 okay, okay, good, okay, okay, good. That's a good hoochie, isn't that nice? She's snuggling up. Oh, you can't get, you can't get away from her. She's very fast. He's so, f- yes, you can't get away from Hootsie. Oh, she isn't that nice. That doesn't sound horrifying at all. Don't hang you on. Nothing lasts forever. But the sea and sky. Oh, she's in that nice. Isn't that nice? Uncle Dora, Torbeck. Torbeck wants to I'm snuggle. a vampire now, so I'm going to protect you. And she sits down right in front of you and she just stares off into the distance. <laughs> Don't worry, though. I'm an animal eating vampire because I eat a cat first. Uh, uh, Torbeck may have eaten a cat once, but that's a story for another day. Allegedly, allegedly. Torbeck is very tired. Good night, Torbeck. Good night, Twig. She's going to cast sleep on you. Uh, uh, he needed that. <laughs> he gets caught up in the yeah, radio. Yes. He yeah. like the entire room. Yeah. We, we, we all drop where we are. Usually I'm the one getting punched. <laughs> 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 and uh, you, after I soar through the air with the people's elbow knocking a frosty, I just look like, uh. <laughs> And with that, you all find yourselves in a deep slumber. A peaceful, <clears throat> dreamless slumber. <gasps> You can all enjoy a long rest. Oh, oh, yeah. There we go. Nice. Oh, should I character sheet? Uh, I'm playing a game, I guess. I took a long rest. Do I recover one level of exhaustion? You do. You do. You do. Thank you. You do. You do. Exhausted? Yeah. yeah from the. Oh, from the. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I wake up first. <laughs> you do. You fell asleep first. You wake up first, yeah. and your your face hurts. <laughs> you have been punched square in the nose, and you find that your your nose is swollen and purple and yellow, soft to the touch. There is uh, dried blood caked up on the fur above your upper lip, and Some you of this are. Is <laughs> it's true, and oh, you no. are you are in a world of hurt but you no longer believe you are a vampire. It's really remarkable how that happens. You just 
believe something and you can't control it in your mind no matter how many doors of logic you might go down. I'm going to enter the bathroom, wash myself as best I can. I'm not going to take like a full bath, but I want to clean myself up so that I can spend the next hour hopefully as before you, anyone wakes up. As you walk through the room, you see that the rest of your friends are asleep on the bed. All mm-hmm. but Torbeck, Twig, and Hootsie. Torbeck is in the corner, leaning up against the wall, completely um, asleep, snoring. Hootsie is snuggled up against him, keeping him warm. And Twig is lying on the floor, her arms <laughs> crossed over her chest as she stares up at the ceiling, her eyes wide open. I'll walk over and I'll do this across her face just to wave my hand and kind of... Twig, are you awake? Yeah. Stay quiet. Don't wake the others. Okay. Yeah, you're you're now a vampire, yes? I know. I drank your blood. Mm-hmm. Now I'm a vampire. Oh, well, it's a secret. There are vampire hunters out there in the world. You should uh, make sure that they don't become aware of you. I have a question. Mm-hmm. I don't thirst for blood. Yes. I want muffins. Is it possible I'm a muffin vampire? It's entirely possible. There are different types. What if I also kind of want pancakes, too? Well, uh, you you have that choice. Perhaps you're just a carb vampire. (laughs) But what about the fact that I kind of want a slab of bacon? Well, the bacon, you can just enjoy it for the luxury of it. As a vampire, you don't have to only eat one type of thing. Really? Yes, 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 yes. You can eat whatever you do. Uh, that's the, the joy of being <clears throat> a vampire. But you think that my, my vampirism is carbohydrate vampirism? Uh, yes. Carbo, <laughs> carbo-vampire. I'm a vampirohydrate. Yes, that's correct. I'm just going to call myself a vampire. If you don't have carbs every 24 hours, then you'll start to waste away, and your undeath will become a living nightmare. I guess I'll eat a lot of pasta. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then make sure you stay on top of that. I'm going to eat a muffin now, then, if you're sure. Well, don't let the muffin bite you. Otherwise, it'll become a carb vampire itself and try to usurp you. What are you talking about? Muffins don't have teeth. To your your knowledge. Okay. Be careful. I will. She reaches into her little back, her little satchel, and she pulls out a muffin. Mm-hmm. You got teeth? Yes. Don't do that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Blueberry. Oh, that's a good muffin. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go and, and wash the blood off of my face now, Twig. <laughs> 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 what is that, <laughs> Yeah, I did that while you guys were sleeping. You did what? Wash the blood off of my face. Oh, that was wise. That was yeah. wise. I would have done that, but uh, Gideon punched me in the face until I was unconscious. <laughs> yeah. Your nose isn't looking so good. No, it... It hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, I look like a Muppet. <laughs> <laughs> you, um, you might want to wake up Grico and see if he can give you all of his bananas. Because uh, that front tooth is holding on, but only barely. I feel that. I'm going to let them rest I'd a little I'd offer you longer. a muffin, but I'm afeard you'd lose a teeth in it. I will wait until they wait. It's been a, yesterday was very long. I don't want to wake anyone. I want some peace and quiet. I want to meditate. I want to get cleaned up. I want to sit and I want to think about owls of my mind and become one with the universe again and remember my old ways of teaching and learning. Okay. Become who I'm meant to be. Understand? Yeah. Well, I won't bug you anymore then. I'm going to go back to my peaceful eternal unrest. Mm. Okay. I look around. Is anyone else asleep? Or, or Everyone awake? else is asleep. Uh, and I walk over and wash my face. Dip my hands in the loop bucket. Please <laughs> 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 stop <laughs> <laughs> I'll 
I'll sit down and I will <laughs> I will cross my legs and I will. Um, I just want you to know I am currently putting um, you all become Muppets on the uh, dread oh list. My oh my god, god, that's fucking incredible. But not until we actually get Muppets, though. Wouldn't it be amazing if you actually twisted oh us and like we had an actual fuckers day? <laughs> what? That would be incredible. If I can get on that production team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rich and I will just yeah, know, just we'll fucking lock uh, us in the basement for the next week yeah. and we'll make a bunch of puppets. Um. <laughs> I'll sit down and uh, I'll run, rifle through my backpack and I will find a few sticks of incense uh, that allow me to focus, that remind me of my childhood, of growing up, of my psionic ways and the order that taught me. And I will endeavor to center myself for what I am hoping to be a more peaceful day and to shield myself from the curses that occasionally blow through like a wind. <laughs> And I will sit in silence thinking that way and reorganizing my mind and shielding myself in this way until anyone wakes. And you do that until somebody else arises. Nobody wakes. Everyone sleeps. No. Frost. Yes. You've been in here for three and a half hours. <laughs> it's been three and a half hours? <laughs> yep. And everyone's still asleep? Uh huh. I go over to the curtain and I open it. Like, what time of day does it look to be? I don't know, like seven thirty in the morning. Oh, I'm gonna <laughs> early. <laughs> oh heavens! Oh, uh, everyone's still sleeping in. Yeah, you got up real early. Yes, I did. You also got up very early. I didn't sleep last night. Yeah. And as you're looking into her eyes, you see that they're incredibly bloodshot. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I told you, I have begun the journey of my eternal unrest. Yes. Well, perhaps you should consider some rest. <laughs> well, I can't though, because I don't have soil from my homeland and a coffin to sleep in. What is your homeland? I don't know. This is going to be quite a quest for you, then. I know. <laughs> it sounds like a whole campaign. I just, it scares me, Frost, because I don't know. I heard on the Google that you could only stay up for 11 days straight until you die. But the thing is, I'm already dead. I'm undead. So, I don't know what that means for me. Oh, uh, well, if you die as a vampire, you... Have you ever met a Google before? A Google? Yeah. Is that some sort of they creature? Yeah, yeah, they know everything. You just ask them a question and they'll give you the answer. Sometimes it's right, sometimes it's wrong. It's rolling dice. Is that etymologically connected to the word Googleplex, do you think? <laughs> you know, I don't know what that word means because I never went to school. Hmm. So probably... Well, that must be a very strange... What thing. does the word Googleplex mean? I uh, don't have time to explain it to you now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very busy. <laughs> I'm going to yeah. go get some breakfast for the rest of the gang. Do you want to join me? Yeah, okay. All right. Do you know where we get breakfast here? Is it, did we... we can head back to where the Electrum Chef was, was done. That's where they said the kitchens was normally. But I don't know if that's where, like, the Continental Breakfast is set up or if we go back to the dining hall. What do you think they have those really awful frozen egg rolls? Almost certainly. Let's avoid those. And stay close to me in the kitchen area. I'm still worried about the Beezle. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, as you should be. <laughs> in the corner, it's a spread. Like, it's, <laughs> it's like very blessed thing. It's a spread of voices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like a fucking horrible eldritch fungus. It's developed mm -hmm. like a mouth. <laughs> yeah. yep. Mouths of a beetle wakes with the sun. <laughs> oh, I feel emotions, and now all I feel is hate. <laughs> <laughs> the sunset of humanity. <laughs> I love the beetle. Uh, yeah. Okay. So we can. You you want to start at the kitchens? Let's start at the kitchens, and we'll uh, we'll be on the hunt. Do you for more think cars. they made us a beetleberry breakfast? 
I really hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Every beast that pet gets used for these foods, as delicious as they are, unleashes an abomination upon the Feywild that could destroy us all. Yeah, they're on the Fey, and they go straight down into the depths of the Feydor. Mm. The Beezel remnants. The Beezel that wakes. The Beezel beyond. The Beezel beyond. Come on, let's go. Okay, I want a Beezel Berry breakfast, though, because I'm a carb vampire. I know, let's go. Okay. I grab her hand, and we, we walk down the hallway and to the kitchen. Perfect. So we do that. You <laughs> stand asleep. Uh, all right, I'm ready to go, fellas. Let's go. What do you think? You hear the sound of the door slamming shut uh, jolts you awake. Uh, all right, fellas, let's go. Uh, hurry, let's go. Hurry. Oh, 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 Tiffany. Oh, 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 that's ridiculous! You can't have cake for breakfast. Oh, like, old sense when? That violates like all sorts of international law. But Greg, no, I'm no cake okay. for breakfast, and that's fun. Man, adventurous. Cupcakes, so. cupcakes. That is ridiculous. You can have that for dessert. No cupcakes for breakfast. Oh, I hope Frosty gets his muffin. Yeah, no, 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 <laughs> Fifteen. Thank you. Uh, all right. We got a big day ahead of us. We're going to go deal with that resistance, right? And just call the whole thing off. Explain what we did. Make sure that the king doesn't get executed. And then tonight we have dinner with Babylon, and then hopefully we get the fuck out of here. All right. First, infiltrate the rebels. Second, spread awareness of how uh, King Gullop is actually a pretty nice guy, and we should change the culture of constantly murdering all of our monarchs, and how he's probably not quite as totalitarian a leader as the previous 8,000 generations. Torbeck, it is as Greco is saying this, that the room around you goes, goes uh, dark. Where once had been the beautiful colors of the Feywild, you are now surrounded by uh, hues of gray. Mm, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Fifty shades of gray, actually. Um, Ooh, as you realize that there is a mystery to solve, you are a detective, a film noir detective, <laughs> and this is your story to tell. Uh oh. Torbeck can't do this as good as Frost. Frost already took the good stuff. Noir back. Uh oh. Give Torbeck a few minutes. Torbeck looks a little sleepy. I think he's rattling him. We did have a wild night, especially with that toad that we licked. Yeah, yeah. Toads will do it. Did I even give you the right one, or did I? No, I don't think I. Give you the right Free. Door rack, door rack. All right. <laughs> then, once we've done that, we meet, have dinner with Pavlona. Yeah. I gave you the wrong one. I'm sorry. I gave you five and not 15. E. We continue our false flag on the accolades of Scabify. Question mark. I think I already did that in the play. I feel like we continue that whole rose. Yeah, and we, and we lay the whole, you know. The whole Darkling thing. I don't think she's discovered that yet. We can maybe hint at it. She'll discover it, and then hopefully we can get the fuck out of here. He yeah, watches. She might even ask about it. Torbeck's shape, shape changes. You're not a film noir detective <laughs> because that's number five. <laughs> you watch as you you slowly change from a three dimensional being into a two dimensional sprite. <laughs> Wait, like I literally only exist in two dimensions? Yes. Sprite is in like a pixie, sprite? like yeah. an eight bit, like an eight bit or sprite, sprite like, is a, like a, a video pixie game, a video game sprite, a video game sprite is like he just went Paper Mario. I am just, yeah, just Torbeck, yeah. but Mario. I'm two dimensional. Yeah, that means I can pass it through dimensional objects from a certain <laughs> angle. Anyway, from a certain uh, point of view. Yes. Uh, so then all of a sudden it would just be like. <laughs> 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 Oh, what? Tomek, you're in the second dimension. 
Listen. <laughs> oh, that's it. You're, you're from that realm. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't do it. What? 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 Have you not heard the tale growing up in your goblinoid village? Ah! <laughs> what? what? Heard what? <laughs> Torbeck, what do you think about music and dancing? Well, Torbeck has always enjoyed dancing a little bit. <laughs> I'll, I'll do a, 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 a military roll. Get behind, get behind uh, the uh, what is it? The stool that we all keep tripping over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's been sent. He, he's been sent by the. You know who? You know who? No, I don't know. What the, uh, this is Groblin. The Groblin. The Groblin. Oh. Uh, how, uh, how is this related to the fucking Groblin? He's from the same dimension. Oh, only the Groblin can walk, but be- walk between dimensions and worlds. How did Torbeck gain such a power? What? He must have corrupted his blood. What is what is Brico saying? He has heard the stylish jingle of the Groblin. It's significantly more likely that Twigsy drugged us all in our sleep. Yeah, this is just like a shared hallucination, or maybe this is just part of his magic. Or well, we're probably still dreaming. We did all sleep in the same bed. But what's interesting is that, Torbeck, how do you feel? Because it seems like there's no space for your vital organs. Uh, Torbeck feels lighter. Ah! <laughs> 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 I just remember running around there. Ah! 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 Who'd you send me? Torbeck's uh, oh! neck is a little stiff, though. Torbeck can't quite look around the whole room. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Let me try something. I want to get up and then walk around to the side. And Torbeck literally disappears yeah. Yeah. once I look at him this way because there's no dimension. Yeah. Oh my fucking god. Torbeck, you there? Yes, Mr. Grammy. Torbeck is here. Come check this out, kid. What? What are you what's what happening? Oh, if you okay. Look at him yeah. directly from the side, he just doesn't exist. No, 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 let's stick up with you! No, 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 no! And then to... and then like a jump scare, Torbeck turns 90 degrees at you like oh, no! <laughs> What the heck? Oh no! You guys talking about Torbeck? Oh. oh God, are you like flat or something? Oh uh, well, are oh, you still dimensional? Maybe. Torbeck, I mean not Torbeck. I'm not speaking to you while you are in this horrid form. Gideon, you missed it in the. You haven't seen the true terror that I have witnessed and have heard tale of. If a very jaunty, catchy keyboard. Default jingle begins to play. Torbeck is truly lost. <laughs> uh, Torbeck doesn't want to be lost. And then I will try to shuffle over to Gricko. <laughs> and, and I stub my two dimensional foot on a chair. Ow! <laughs> Torbeck didn't think I could take up less space. Oh! 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 This is a little more convenient. You, 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 a little com- oh, you know what? Yeah. This guy's invisible from the side. We could use this for advantage. What do you think, fellas? Well, I guess he's technically more We should healthy. not use dark powers. It's such as this. What uh, the heck are you talking about, man? You want that, you want that, you want that, Gideon. Crummy, Crummy knows what I'm talking about. Crummy knows how no, terrible. No, that was just more drugs, all right? We were on a drug fucking minecart thing. None of that was real. It was all, it's it's just a spooky dark ride. It's supposed to make you feel that way. Man, is that when I was in the hospital? Yeah, you were in the yeah, hospital. I yeah, missed the you, were in, you were in a missed, coma. Well, you missed a lot. You missed the, you missed the, te- the Tower of Terror. You missed Guy's Night. No, I missed Guy's Night. I was there for most of Guy's Night. Frost Oh, oh, Frosty missed He was having a guy. And that is when you realize <laughs> that is when you realize that Frost is gone. Yeah. Oh. I thought he was getting his breakfast. Continental breakfast. You were asleep during all that. Oh. Huh. Uh, we just hoped he was I just hope he's always talking about breakfast. <laughs> are we are we gonna go find him? Hold on a second. And then uh, Torbeck will shift towards the door and do this and as he runs at the door he hits the door and then I keep running in places the entire scene shifts <laughs> and then my sprint catches up and I've, now the next room is loaded like Mega Man <laughs> and then I get the next room and I stop and I <laughs> and it is at this time that Frost what are you doing? Um, have we been able to make food selections and return with a tray of goods? Is that what you would like to do? Um, 
<laughs> yeah, I, I think so. I, yeah, you re, you and Twig were easily able to make your way down to the kitchens, and they, they're still cleaning up a little bit from Electrum Chef, um, but seeing who you are and knowing yeah, that Kremi was the person that had won and that you were one of the judges, um, everyone is more than happy to help you, and you and Twig both make your way uh, back to the room with uh, trays, silver trays, piled high with all kinds of breakfast goods. Twigs is filled with muffins and cakes, croissants, um, all every possible carb you could possibly imagine, and a giant um, container of a fresh made butter. Um, oh. Yours is piled high with varying types of meats and insects. Um, but knowing that knowing that they had uh, guests in attendance for this morning who were not bullywugs, uh, the king had ordered that they procure additional delicacies. And so there are <coughs> things like ham and bacon and sausage that had been pulled in from other regions in downfall. Uh, but as you get to the door, you realize that <laughs> all of your hands are completely... Uh, Someone open the door. What are we going to do now? Well, we have to wait for them to open the door. Well, how do you get them to open the door? I'm kicking the door and I'm asking them to open it. Use your fucking mind, Frost! (laughs) (laughs) No, you guys can't hear any of what's happening outside because all of what you're doing is currently happening at the same time. As Torbeck is doing what Torbeck does, Gricko is screaming about the Groblins. No! Oh, here's a hell of a Groblin! They come from the second dimension! <laughs> Do you hear that? You're yes. never gonna hear you kick in the door over all that. Well, I'm gonna open the door with my mind. It's like Kremi just yelled at me in the back of my head somewhere. <laughs> he does that, doesn't he? And that I will use my mind hand to uh, open the door. <laughs> You're looking very mathematical. Uh, <laughs> does Frost have treats? Yes. 500 points. 500 points. 500 points. 1,000 points. We have, we, we, 1,000 points. I have, uh, some, some you have all these hearts that start filling up. <laughs> I believe. Uh, and then Torbeck grows back to a normal size, two dimensionally, obviously, but he's back to normal size. That Torbeck. is remarkable. Look at what happened to you. What, what has happened to you? Oh, oh he's, he got all of the cherries that Frost brought. Oh, he's getting all of them. You become a two dimensional object. Mm-hmm. That's what Torment stole. Well, does that mean that you'd be able to slip through other three dimensional objects? Maybe. I will attempt to like pass through the bed. Just like pass through the three dimensional object. I can like walk at it. Yeah. <laughs> I defy physics in front of false eyes. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> this could come in handy. Do you have the ability to turn it on and off again? Is this perhaps uh, connected to your witch light? No, Torbeck hopes not. Here, everyone how enjoy some meats. Torbeck, how oh, are you yeah. going to pee? <sighs> well, Torbeck will have to get back to you on that one. Mm. Okay. It's a good thing that you went in this direction and became two-dimensional instead of becoming a fourth-dimensional being, where you would be able to witness your birth and death at the same time and all the events in between. That seems, that seems like a nightmare. That hurts Torbeck's brain, Frost! Yes. Do you want to be Torbeck again? Uh, well, Torbeck is kind of Torbeck, but Torbeck does miss the third dimension. Yeah, hey, how come if you can walk through that bed you don't fall through the floor? <laughs> I just vanish. <laughs> I just vanish. <laughs> You don't ask that of uh, you, you don't ask that. But then once I fall through the floor, I just come back from the ceiling. <laughs> Hootsie's completely ignoring all of this and is at the breakfast table just scooping all of the muffins <laughs> into, into her arms. And just... Everyone have a full breakfast. We may have a long day ahead of us, and I think it's important that we all start off the day right. Uh, we have uh, uh, the carbs and uh, muffins and uh, um, baked goods. But, uh, and twig it's for important on. to know that I am a vampire. Vampire. And Frost told me I'm a carb vampire, mm-hmm. so as much as you may want to eat the muffins, we gotta make sure most of them are for me. Uh, be gone from this world, monster! What? <laughs> Why would she say that, Torbeck? 
Bitch! Two dimensional whip. Two dimensional holy wall. Yeah, that fucking holy wall. <laughs> the whip hit the side of the castle wall and explodes <laughs> right over Grico and a fucking fully cooked chicken appears. <laughs> <laughs> I scamper <just gave> away. <laughs> it destroys a chandelier and a heart just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, this is. Oh, oh, who shall we see? You got muffins. Isn't that much healthier than cupcakes? Duh. <laughs> If there's anything you can imagine here, we'll oh, send me a banana grab a little of all of it. Eat up. There's plenty of cobs left. Yep. I gotta eat as many carbs as possible because I didn't sleep last night. You can say the thing, Frost. Go ahead. What's that? About breakfast. It's the most important meal of the day. Yeah, about it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we got that out of the way. Can we fucking eat and go? Yeah. Yep. How can we eat at a time like this? Oh, it's pretty fix- easy. You just open your mouth and chew. Do you want me to fix door back first? Yes, please, Twig. Okay, come here. Put this straw in your mouth. <laughs> and she blows you back up. <laughs> oh, that More than Torbeck thought it was. Oh, wow. You see some of the smoke from the cigarette last night coming out of his ears, nose, and mouth? Oh, Torbeck does not recommend that. Oh, thank you, Twig. You're welcome. You're lucky that I have iron lungs. Oh, 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 I can't. I can't. I, I can't eat when something like that's happened. But oh, all those blueberry banana pancakes. Yep. Oh, and some sausage rolls. Couldn't say no. I also got you this bowl of uh, sugared uh, bran product. Uh, I believe you pour milk on it, and, oh. uh, and then you can enjoy this as a, as a treat in addition to a balanced breakfast such as this. Oh, I guess so. A sugared bran product. Mm-hmm. Oh wow! Well. I believe they're called flakes. Oh, it says here that the federal government says that this is going to be healthy. And it's going to be good, and they're not going to regret this in, in, in several years. I'm thinking about your heart. Oh, I, yeah. It's I mean, good that, for heart health. Oh, yeah, it's got to be good for my heart. I mean, look look at how much high, high fr- 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 fructose, <laughs> mm-hmm. corn syrup. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's so much of it. It's got to be good for me health. <laughs> oh, oh let's see. From, oh, God, they had just like a vat of it. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's good for the children. Everyone. Oh. It's yeah. good for the children. Hey, look how happy that high. heart looks oh. like uh, painted on the box. Yeah, it's I mean, high. It's got to yeah. yeah. mean good things. Uh, yeah. Oh, there's a colorful cartoon character on the box. <laughs> it must be for children. <laughs> I'll have one of the Beezle tarts. <laughs> yeah. Does anyone want to share Beezleberry breakfast with me? Make sure that you eat them quickly, otherwise they'll make your eyes scream. <laughs> yep. They'll make eyes scream? Your eyes scream. Oh, shit. <laughs> your, your eyes will close, and then when they open again, a small ridge of teeth on both both sides will yell out. It's a nightmare. <laughs> uh, I have uh, eggs. Uh, I'm good. Dorm you want Beezleberry bacon and Beezleberry eggs? Is that a thing? Yeah, it's part of the Beezleberry breakfast. It's great. Feast upon our flesh. <laughs> <laughs> our bellies are fat. That's what I was going to say. I, thought, I think this is a terrific meal. Eat our sushi. <laughs> <laughs> Terrific. When in downfall. <laughs> so I, uh... My favorite part about the Beezleberry breakfast is when it tries to run. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it's like a mini game. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, I, <laughs> have oh, oh I can add oh. Beezleberries to this corn high fructose <laughs> corn syrup <laughs> confection, and it's healthy because yeah. there's fruit in it. <laughs> Oh, and you'll see the little horrible tentacle that's visible out from the berries. Oh, oh, oh you. Over the oh, no, you oh, Beezle oh, berries. Get back, get back down there. <laughs> Part of a complete. <laughs> 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 Surely there won't be consequences. <laughs> anyway, let's go. <laughs> it is the most important meal of the day. <laughs> oh, I feel great. <laughs> yeah, oh, my tummy is full of beetles and baked goods, so I'm ready to go. All right, let's go. 
<laughs> and it's only eight o'clock. We've got a whole day ahead of us. We do. What are we going to do first? Well, we're going to go to this address right here, and I point at the piece of paper with the address written on it. Uh, this is where the revolution is. Uh, this is their safe house. That's where okay. they're hiding out. What are we going to do after that? And then we're going to, I don't know, get dinner with Bav Lorna. Okay. Do you remember how to do that? Yes. Yeah. Cool. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay. Because I don't. We have to, like, pull on one of the... One of the lines. I think something just shows up somewhere. In a a bucket will collect us when we go to the appropriate tower, which she told us, and I remember perfectly how to get there. Oh, she even I'm... handed us this map, if you recall. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I was oh, studying cool. it. Good. I'm glad we have that. Let's not lose it. That would be horrible. Uh, What's it smell like? Oh, it smells like stale bath water. I knew you were going to say bath water. And Fritos. <laughs> uh, uh, old people soup. Uh, yeah. oh. I mean, you know, Frosty, if you had told me what old people soup s- smells like, I mean, that's disgusting, first of all, Frosty. Mm-hmm. Second of all, I have no way to comprehend what that would smell like. <laughs> this is what exactly what that smells like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Third of all, I wouldn't have eaten so much of it. <laughs> just don't burn it. It's just... With, when we're done with it, we'll how is it get still moist? Oh, I left it out to dry last night. <laughs> <laughs> this disturbs even Torbeck. Mm. Do, do the thing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well. Oh. Oh. oh, how can you oh, bring it, it makes out? the room smell worse <laughs> when you bring it. <laughs> Is there anything that we need to do before we go and uh, endeavor to change the minds of the re- rebellion? And uh, we need to make sure that King Gullop is still alive. Oh, that's a fair point. Actually, I like that. We'll swing by well, on the way if out. If you remember, he specifically told you he would not be available today to see you. Yeah. Well, just, I presume if there aren't like bells ringing and and commotion, <laughs> the king is dead. The king has been slain. Uh, wait, smoke oh, coming yeah. Out. Yeah. What's that? Wait, smoke in the dance. Oh. <laughs> To the bloody queue. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Let's go. I lead everyone to the address that's written on the piece of paper. It doesn't work that way. But you do, however, oh. you don't know downfall. You would have no idea where that address is. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. It doesn't work. It's color coded. Blue line on the left side. Of the do you know where this secret address is? Do you really think they'd protect this information? Can you help us to this address? But you have, uh, with your map of downfall, um, which I'm assuming you guys still have. Yep, where yeah, you I was just doing the whole bit no, of that. Your up. actual yeah. map of downfall. Yeah. Oh, no, we don't have that anymore. Now we um, What you do know is that you have um, you have experienced about half of the map of downfall so far, Um, starting from uh, starting from the winding river that leads into downfall. That's Mm -hmm. on the uh, left side of the map. Um, You have gone clockwise around to the um, to the large structure, which is the what? uh, what, What's what's oh? I wonder if he got knocked down all the stuff. Well. Anyway, we'll fix it later. Oh, uh, we're wow. like a missed connection. Well, no, it's blue. It's on. So yeah. hold on. Anyway, so start again. Um, you made your way into Downfall through the winding river on the left side of the map, and made your way clockwise all the way around to the large effect, structure right? that is the palace on the opposite side, doing about half of the map, uh, exploring about half of the map. Of I Downfall. think it's on the top right. No, 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 that's, no that's, that's, that's the center. That's, 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 oh, that's, that's an artistic yeah, rendition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 they're both oh, the this, same this place. This is the side view. Yeah. Yeah. It's the yeah. same place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah now, yeah. Andy, you can point to the other side of the map. Now knowing that yeah. what you have explored is the bottom half of this map, um, you Second. looking at it, you imagine that you could easily leave the palace of the Soggy Court, Soggy Castle, and make your way to the docks outside, thus procuring um, a boat that would take you across the the narrow waterway mm. to the opposite side of Downfall, and that you imagine you could begin your search there in a part of this city that you have yet to experience. Keep it cool, all right? 
Don't ask anybody for directions. They trusted us with this address, and while we're gonna try to convince them that what they're doing is wrong, we don't want to accidentally get all these folks executed. You understand? I can keep it cool. My name is Frost. We also need to have a very long conversation about how you pulled off that horrible eldritch magic uh, from the other dimension, uh, their dimension. Okay, we're good. But we're too busy for this session to have that conversation. <laughs> All right. And I will forget about it in many weeks. <laughs> Let us um, procure a boat. We have to go down to the docks. I imagine there might be some sort of. Uh, animated character that we might meet there. <laughs> the imagination runs wild. Do we think that would be the fastest way to get down here? I literally just said that you thought that that would be the fastest okay, way to get there, yeah. <laughs> yes. That was, that was that. part of my description of what you could so possibly do or would think. Uh, that's a great idea, Frost. Let's Thank go. you for listening to me, Derek. I try. I, <laughs> even though you're on my bad side, I'll make it about 50%. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, a boat! <laughs> yeah. Very nice. So you, Walk out of the docks. You make your way out of the castle, and you are stopped here and there by uh, members of the soggy court that are, mm. that are excited to see you and uh, <laughs> give you accolades for both your performance in the play, or the, the opera, oh, and your you. performance oh. in uh, Electrum Chef. Yeah, and it yeah, does take you, I would say, probably about 45 minutes to make your way out to the dock because of how many of the soggy court is excited to see you. Um, oh, a and, boquette? for me. And Thank in you. these uh, in these conversations you learn two things. That the Saki court is very pleased for the first time ever with the king of the Saki court. Outstanding. That King Gullup is held in high esteem and that the tale of Morgo the uh uh, the valiant knight of warts has spread all around, not just the palace itself, but all over downfall. And that the people feel a sense of uh, pride and a sense of protection over their king um, that is unheard of for this place. And the final piece of information is that Pierre Escargot has made it through the night and he looks to be making a oh. full recovery. <laughs> Everyone is happy to hear this as they know that Cremi LaCrue is not going to be able to stay on as the head chef of the castle and they didn't want to lose their ability to have delicious fare. And though he will need some rest, he will be maintaining his position as the lead chef at the Soggy Castle. What they failed to mention is that now he looks like Chunk from the Goonies. <laughs> 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 oh, I love Chong. Oh, yeah, well, you know, that's what happens when a bean explodes in your face. <laughs> you think you just get to go back from that? <laughs> and it is with that information you're able to make your way down to the dock. The dock is actually bustling. You see that this is more than likely where that uh, band of bullywugs had. Um, had uh, gotten into their boat and made their way out onto out onto the lake. That this is a place where many of the upper the upper class of downfall uh, come to procure boats, go on dates, just enjoy the weather. Um, and you see that there is a small station at the front where there is a bullywug in a red and white striped um, shirt, uh, a pair of khaki pants, and a. a why are you smiling at me like that? I don't that? know. Why are you smiling? <laughs> Why are you smiling at me like that? What's you smiling at me? Make it look all uncomfortable, but also really happy in a strange way. Anyway, like he has a cute little on. bowler hat on <laughs> okay. and a bow tie to match. And he is he's sitting there on a wooden stool and you see as he um you see as he leads uh, a pair of bullywugs over to a boat, helps them get in, unties the, the rope, and sends them out on their way to enjoy the afternoon. Can we say that all of the boats are the little, like, paddle boats? Where you, you know what? The, sure. Right yeah. Are they also shaped like swans? <laughs> oh, yeah. the band of, but the band of <laughs> no, bullywugs. No, they're, they're, they're shaped like dragonflies. <laughs> oh. oh! I think that we might be able to procure a boat from this bowling hat uh, wearing gentleman. Yeah, the bow tie, you can see. He's probably oh. got a wacky accent. There's a vendor that has the, the Band of Bollywogs box set. Can you, can you grab those DVDs? Yeah, you just want me to take them from them? Okay. Yeah. yeah. 
You gotta grab the DVDs. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, what are DVDs? <laughs> What are DVDs, Greco? <laughs> Come on, Greco, tell us what DVDs are. You asked me to get the box set of DVDs from this gentleman. Greco's leaving us on the edge of our seats. Yeah, he looks like he's going to explode. <laughs> Doesn't matter, let's go to the boat. <laughs> he's even going to get in things. <laughs> My eyes are like bulging out. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> what a do, fella? <laughs> Well, hello. It's nice to meet you. Are you looking to procure a boat? Yes, we would like to procure one boat if uh, it'll hold uh, the well, six I'm of us. I'm not sure we have one that could fit five. ML. We have one that could fit six. Oh, well, I see the little one down there. Yes, and we also yes. have an owl bear and a peg tunia. <laughs> oh, well, you're going to need something similar to a catamaran. We don't have one of those, but we do have a very large paddle boat. Oh, that'll work. It would have been cool if you said, ah, we're going to need a bigger boat. <laughs> I'm Richard, Richard Flyfus. <laughs> wow. Well, well done. We are going to need a bigger boat, and my name is Jacob Hops. <laughs> and I am Richard Flyfus. <laughs> That's a pretty good name, too. <laughs> Jacob, is that a very common last name in these parts? Hops, yeah. Well, my entire family is the Hops family. Mm-hmm. So I would say it's pretty popular among the Hops family. Well, Did you, certainly, that's not all right. Fair. We'll take one. <laughs> Did your ancestors like, own a microbrewery? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, Torbeck thinks it's more akin to Torbeck's last name being Smelly Hair. <laughs> Oh. Is that actually a last name? No, no, Torbeck doesn't have a last name. Torbeck was giving an example. <laughs> oh, that makes perfect sense. Torbeck's yeah. name is just Torbeck. <laughs> Torbeck's always been jealous of people with more than one name. Do you want a last name? Maybe another time, Frost. Now hardly seems like the time. No, we're we're talking to this bowling-hatted Jacob Hobbs. <laughs> <laughs> that was not the time at all. He's stuck on this bowling hat. <laughs> well, it's, I think it's, it's an a, odd choice. It's a bowler hat. What's wrong with a bowler? I feel like that's very uh, what you would expect for any of the frogs in this area. They're, they're you know dressed in the in the period appropriate wear. Well, one might wear a bowler cap. Uh, you mean bowling hat? Yeah, oh. it clearly says Green Lanes Bowler. <laughs> <laughs> mm. oh. <sighs> Got him right. against me somehow. <laughs> how much, how much for the boat, the Mr. Water. Hops? Well, a small bit of joy, I think, would do it. Ooh, well, why don't you just add it to our tab and I'll show the, the king's <clears throat> rib, night ribbon. That we got from well, the... that's lovely, but we don't do tabs here. Oh, oh. I got a little bit of a joy. Ha ha. I'll pour the ball in a cup. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm going to try. You see, you get the ball in the cup. Oh, I miss. But the ball is on the string, so it doesn't drop. Ball in the cup. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> Roll a performance check. I've never once seen you get this. <laughs> That's because this was meant for Jacob Hops. <laughs> for I cannot get it because I am not his rightful master. <laughs> yeah. Oh, not not good. Kind of, okay. Kind of okay. Okay. You know it's what I mean? The elder ball in a cup. <laughs> performance, you say. <clears throat> It'll be a 16. Oh. He, uh, a big smile crosses his face. My daughter would love something like that. And the joy on your face while you play with it, it <laughs> seems like it is quite the toy. <laughs> I would love to accept this in exchange for our largest boat. Aha, well, here you go, Mr. Hops. But the boat must be back here by the end of the evening. Will anything happen to the boat if uh, we don't return it? Well, we have no way to, to dock it or moor it if it's not here. We have dinner plans. We'll be back. Yeah. Lovely. Why to do? <laughs> oh, she can bought in a nice man who'd see. Thank you. She loves the boat rides. See you, man. And he will walk you to the end of the dock and help get you into the boat. Well. That was easy. Uh, apparently, we just moved these paddles with our legs and uh, 
Some of us may have to paddle faster or slower than the others in order for us to turn left or right. I'll try and slow down so you can keep up, Frosty. Yeah, there's only two paddles, so you fellas never skip leg day, clearly. So why don't you jump in and <laughs> go for it? Oh, hold on. I think never I can do it. leg day? I can do it. Oh, my feet don't reach. <laughs> <laughs> his feet dangle as he tries to get to the pedals. If Torbeck tries, his knees are past his ears. <laughs> you know, this is very unfair. Torbeck's fine. <laughs> very, uh, no, I can't reach. Uh, oh, like you'll see my foot. I like barely move it one thing by trying to stretch. Well, if you really wanted to, you'd probably get on your hands and knees and just work the pedals with your hands. <laughs> I will not be doing that. <laughs> I'll take the other side. You can take the the right. Yeah, okay. I'll go real slow so you can keep up. We call that the starboard. What? The what? Starboard. Why? What kind of bird is in the stars? That's ridiculous. It's just what, I don't know, it's what we call it in Nautical. If you're on a boat, you see starboard side. Hmm. And I'm not familiar with the nautical terms. Is there, there you, you, you're not sure what the reason is? I, I didn't come up with the fucking word. It's not like I invented it from. So what, 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 what is the other side? The right. What is the other side called? Well, if I'm facing this way, off the side of the boat, now my right's to the stern. Well, what? So the direction actually changes depending on where you're facing. Well, no, I'm saying that these terms provide a, a, a frame of reference that always points to a specific direction versus I could say right, and I might mean the right the way I'm facing. But if I say stop it, I, you always know that it's the right side of the boat. That makes logical sense. And that's just how we do it in odd way. Well, um, do we need to go starboard direction in order to get to our destination? You're, you've got the map. No, we. Just, I mean, you just go... Straight. <laughs> What's the other side? Oh, pretty easy. Well, I appreciate you sharing knowledge, Crummy. The other side's port. Oh, Torbeck's glad we cleared that up. <laughs> Starboard and port? They sound nothing yeah. alike. There's, there's no relationship there at all. Is there a relationship between right and left? Well, yeah, one is to the right and one is to the left. No, 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 no. the relationships one is to the right and one is to the left. Oh, there you go. He's got you there. Yeah, Duh, that's pretty good. Fucking pedal. I just, right I just wish point. that I understood it etymologically. I'm in a George Washington. I'll sit on the front of a boat and I'll just, I'm helping. <laughs> I'm supervising. So how many people are actually pedaling? Just, uh, just, just Gideon and I. Frost. Uh, I would like to have you make a... Um, Let's do athletics at disadvantage. Okay. I don't know why, but it makes me sad. Oh. Well, because this is a six person. Athletics? Or, this is technically an eight person boat because of Hootsie um, <coughs> and Twig. Wait. Oh, someone can canonically and said there were only two panels. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I told you <laughs> that he gave you the, he you. gave you the biggest boat. So it's oh. a boat for eight people. Who would make and up such a lie? Two so is it basically the boat version of those really obnoxious long bike things that drunk tourists in the city and they all paddle and they're drinking it's, it's a long drive it's got two 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 and two um if it's just the two of us i got a 13 23 a disadvantage? A disadvantage? I rolled a 16 and a 20. I have a plus 7. Right? So, yeah. yeah. Wow. I know okay. the boat just spins in a circle. Oh, well, oh geez, it, I bet. It had started to, but you are able to correct all of Frost's wrongs. And as Frost tries to take you in the opposite direction, pretty good. you're able to move him. You're able to, to correct it, and you slowly... Make your way to the other side. Oh, Hoochie wants to try. Oh, your little feet do. And she's very excited and she gets in the seat and is like, it's very awkward. <laughs> but she's figuring it out and she's pedaling. Oh, you're doing so great, Hoochie. Hmm. <clears throat> While we start to move, uh, they're the only two paddling, though, right? Okay. Uh, Torbeck and now Hootsie is. So and and yeah. Hootsie. Yeah. Torbeck will go over to Gricka and say, Then Hootsie uh, needs to roll at disadvantage. Uh, um. Hey, hey, Greco. Uh, Torbeck knows that you have uh, magic bananas, so... Oh, uh, you are able to correct Frost's mistakes, but you're not able to correct the mistakes of two people. And as Hootsie, oh, no! who is just a small child like Albert, is paddling furiously backward, you are finding...
becoming an increasingly difficult to keep this boat going straight. Oh, and you begin, strong. as you begin to, to starboard, fellas, come on. As you begin oh, to veer away. out to open sea. No, that's port. That's port. Come on, the other way. Oh uh, yes. Yeah. What was that tool bed that you were saying? Oh, Sorry. Oh, oh no, it's okay. Uh, uh, the, the banana, the magic bananas. Uh, Torbic yep. uh, recognizes Grico as somewhat of a doctor, and uh, was hoping <laughs> yeah. maybe you could check Torbeck's uh, port butt cheek for a weird rash that's going on. I mean, I'm more of a, a naturalistic healer. Well, Torbeck's whenever not they a so, whenever they say you know, doctor, it's kind of more of a you know. Torbeck's yeah. worried it might start spreading to the starboard butt cheek, if you know what Torbeck means. You should probably give his board some attention. Uh, okay, I'm seeing how we have time. Hoochie, you're doing great. You're the one doing all the work. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, just, you know, maybe, maybe a banana poultice would uh, clear it right up. We just, you know, whatever. <laughs> we are the rash. <laughs> oh, oh, there's Beezleberry on Torbeck's hair. Oh, get it oh. off! Get it off the boat! <laughs> get it off the boat! We'll all be killed. <laughs> you are one with us. <laughs> I, it's like it's just filming. It's just like a Kraken fight. <laughs> I'm, I'm running away, and then a Beezleberry tentacle grabs me and slides me back <laughs> off off screen. <sighs> <sighs> We had that adventure while <laughs> <That's laughs> he's yelling at Frost to get in. <laughs> Trying to get him the right direction. With all of this happening, it takes about an hour yeah. for you to make your way across the small channel from the palace yeah, to I'm the... Uh, <laughs> People are watching us on the shore like, what are they doing? <laughs> it's 50 <laughs> <laughs> okay, it takes us an hour to get to the boat, yeah. an hour to go 50 feet. <laughs> That tracks. <laughs> Does track. Uh, but you are able to get the uh, you are able to get the Beezleberry off of Torbeck's butt and into the water. How it will fare submerged, what it will turn into in the depths, you do not know. Uh, but that is a problem for future downfall. As you make your way to the uh, to the other bank, and you are able to uh, moor the boat and uh, and make purchase on land. Well moored, Gideon. Yeah, you too. You know, you too. And uh, Hootsie helped. Oh, Hootsie, you did so great. Do you know why they call it more? Because after you do it, it's so fun. You want some more. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> 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 we, we, we disembark. <laughs> yeah. you, you begin to make your way uh, down the path. It's a um, it's a stone lined path that leads uh, deeper into downfall on this side, uh, and you eventually come to a crossroads, a place that leads you forward, and then to uh, to your left. It what you find is a garden of large, gigantic toadstools. They tower well over all of you. And from deep within this toadstool patch, you hear the mm. haunting melody of someone playing pipes. Mm. And it is oh. alluring mm -hmm. and intriguing. Mm. And just mm. as you begin to listen in closer, from the right side, from the right path, you hear the rustling of leaves and the giggling of feminine voices. Oh. That's a little sound. Oh, the pipes or the sound of giggling? Oh, I, wait. Oh, my God. It's giggling, too. <laughs> wait, hold on. This seems like some kind of fake trick. Well, I know. There's no possible way that that's true. Torbeck is interested. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, those pipes are awfully alluring, but I don't like the sound of giggling fade creatures. It sounds no, no, no. delightful! Yeah, it's just laughing women. You like the sound of laughing women? What could possibly No, I mean, it's, it's a beautiful sound, Crummy. You got a oh, oh. to I'm with Crummy on this one. Oh, you sound sounds like you guys are. To be true. You guys are a bunch of wet blankets. Uh, it's probably laughing frog people, alright? Does that. Does that put a wet blanket on it? Yeah, it does uh, kind of for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. me too. But Torbeck's still in! <laughs> me too. Tell, tell you what, can, 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 can one of you like hold a rope and go and, and yell back if it's safe and then Krimi and I will join you? Uh, and if not, then 
you can tug on the rope and we'll pull you back because it's a nightmare. Why don't we just send Tor back? We could just send Tor back. <laughs> Tor back had a gold piece for every time Mr. Kremmy tied a rope around him and made him do something. Mr. Kremmy wouldn't know Tor back back wages. <laughs> uh, uh, hold still. Bring up back wages. Oh, right? Sorry, Mr. Kremmy. Hold still. I will fashion this rope uh, connected to uh, your. Uh, Backpack, for lack of a better term, and Dormick just has a filthy sack. <laughs> well, you have also these uh, tubes that are connected to your body. I assume they won't come free if we have to yank you back. Oh, but but they hurt if you pull on them. If, if, well, uh, where else would you like me to just around your waist? Around, right? around Dormick's waist. Back the old days. Yeah. <laughs> and the best part about that, if he tries to run off, he can't augment his body at will uh, on account of his horrible powers. So he'll be fine. He'll never get out of it. <laughs> I'm going to go between the, the groin a uh, couple of times. Oh, okay. uh, watch out for the filthy sack. I don't sack. want it falling off. And the other filthy sack. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yes, I'm watching out for the sack. Uh, <laughs> all right. And that should, that should be nice and tight. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, okay. You've got a uh, uh, however many feet I have of rope uh, to get in there and find out if there's danger and to signal us uh, with one tug we should join you and with multiple frantic tugs I'll assume that you're dying and we need to pull you back. Uh, okay. Um, if the tugs get confusing, mm -hmm. uh, can we base it off of Torbeck's horrific screams? We that might may not be, be able to hear you, Torbeck. You're just going to have to do your best. Uh, Tor Torbeck's starting to regret this. Remember, just tug once if it's fine and safe. And if you get confused, we'll pull you back. Or should it be, should he tug two times? So, you know, a tug, he can maybe, like, do the missteps, and then, oh, he tugs, like, he's, he's pulled into okay, danger. No, I, I agree. I hear you. That's actually very logical. Uh, two tugs for, two tugs. for joining. Two tugs for joining. One tug, nothing. Three tugs or more emergency. Why do you need a tug for nothing? How much is he doesn't tug? No, the, 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 the one tug is just in case it's an accident, to, to Grico's point. To one one tug doesn't mean anything. Or maybe one tug, oh, things are okay. Things are fine for now. But don't come just yet. How about one tug for things are okay just for yet. Two tugs for yes, come on. Yeah. Three tugs are saying, hmm, maybe. No, three, 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 three tugs. Three tugs <laughs> three tugs. danger. Three tugs. No, I thought it was many, many tugs rampant for well, yeah, three plus tugs. That's very confusing. No, no, no. It's like two violent tugs that feel frantic, but he, he, then he's just out. With them violent them. tugs? Yeah. <laughs> Torbeck doesn't want violent tugs. Oh, hey, First time it. he's ever said that. <laughs> the, okay. the, the nature of the tug is in like Oh, no. We're adding a third dimension. We, no, we, should, we need to have a matrix here. I started, I grabbed a stick. I said clawing in the dirt. Okay. So we have soft, medium, and hard tugs. And we have okay. one, two, three, and then many. So we're going to fill in with each one of those pieces. As this is happening. Uh, you hear a voice um, drift on the wind. Uh, Come join us. We're playing in the water. Oh, I'm made of fire. I don't really like the water. Uh, do they sound like frog people? No. Oh. <laughs> I don't. They sound kind of. Uh. You're the forward. only person that fears it. It sounds uh, like it's coming the way that the giggling was coming. We're arguing over the Matrix. If Three they're arguing times. over the, the Matrix, you hear this mm -hmm. uh, drift on the wind. Um, but how do we define the, 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 the hardness of a tongue? Torbeck heard it as soon as Torbeck said it. <laughs> uh, well done. I think we should, just, uh, we should just head on over there. I think it's gonna be. So I think we should do. We should do a practice round of the tug to make sure that you have all of this stuff. Do you have all this committed to memory? I will start slowly walking. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I started walking towards the voices. The, the hot voices. Uh, we let Gideon lead yeah. in our discussion. <laughs> I'm uh, the address out. I'm just looking for street signs. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. Uh, uh, I'm lost. You begin to make your way into this glade, and you see that it is. Um, it is a beautiful circular glade that is right on the water. Uh, at the very edge of it, you see a large gnarled tree. Several holes dot the trunk of the gnarled old tree that grows on the shore of the lake. The tree has lost all of its bark, and a few withered leaves cling to the end of its twisted, knotted branches. One end of a clothesline is tied to a high branch on the northwest side of the tree. Several old garments hang from the clothesline, the other end of which disappears into the fog hovering over the lake. That is not what catches your attention. 
It is the two beautiful satyr women that are that are mostly naked up against the the bark of the tree. They're covered in all the right places with beautiful leaf bikinis as they um, as they um, squeeze these um, strange fruits for oil and begin rubbing it into their skin. Um, you hear them laughing, giggling, really, as they turn. <laughs> come. I just said come. I was- oh, my God. Uh oh. Anyway, I'm sorry. You you look over at them as they are rubbing the oil on each other, Mm. and they look towards you and they start beckoning you. Come, help us. Oh, don't mind if I do. I said the word. Yeah. All right. Yes, I have, and don't mind if I do. I can't help but notice you ladies are wearing quite a bit of clothing. Uh, you might need to just take one and rub all this oil in it's together. It's just two maple leaves. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, yeah, if we're going to rub all this oil in together, I mean, I think we got to get started. There's and a so lot you're, of you're walking over to them? <laughs> My hands are in oil. <laughs> <laughs> the oil all over yourselves and they are they're looking up at you happily as they arch their backs and and point to where they want you to begin rubbing the oil in. Oh, don't mind if I do right here. Oh, and yeah. as you go to touch them, you realize that there is nothing there to touch. <laughs> as the illusion what? of these beautiful satyrs dissipates and above your head from one of the holes in the tree you hear <laughs> I need you to roll for initiative. Oh! Wow! I'm covered in oil and horn. <laughs> Thank God you don't have any fucking weapons. You'd be like, I can't get my sword. I'm too much. Well, it doesn't help that I made a fucking fire. I can't ignite a The foolish immortal flesh claims to be driven by lust. <laughs> I'm now really you will be all this today in my life. I'm simply horny, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you will be our first. Get oh, do, are, are we rolling too? Or is this, are we out of initiative? You're yeah. not in initiative yeah, right now. Yeah, three something. You're you, drawing the dirt. You look up as you hear these words, and you see poking um, out of one of the holes in this tree uh, what is very clearly uh, a pixie of some kind. Um, but these pixies don't look like the pixies that you are married to. Um, their, their skin is a very pale shade of gray. Their eyes have no pupils. They're just pure white. Their hair is spiky and dark. Their fingers are long and spindly, um, far longer and spindlier than, than you would expect. They almost look like, um, gnarled branches of twigs and they all come to a sharp point um, as they smile down at you they bare their fangs which are sharp and serrated and uh, I would say you've been in the Feywild long enough now to realize that this is something that Twig has mentioned before an unseely fey oh. uh, a fey that is that leans more towards um, 
negative emotions, anger, hatred, jealousy, uh, wrath. And you see that um, you see that this one is staring down at you with a wicked smile, very pleased with herself that she has caught you in her web. And uh, as she says this, she is going to reach her finger out, and she is going to um, uh, she is going to attempt to attack you. She oh, cast man. power word kill. <laughs> she, she rolled first in initiative. So. Oh my god, she moved twenty two. She wow. did yeah. easily. Yeah. Too. That's easily, yeah. that's oh my terrifying. god, actually terrifying. Does a twenty three hit? Oh, it hits. It hits. Yeah. Look at my weapon and and fix it. We we never discussed. She does six points of lightning damage as she reaches down and she shoots a bolt of lightning out of her finger and it slams into you. You, Your body begins to shake with the lightning as it hits you and she laughs into her hands. You aren't sexy satyrs! You aren't sexy satyrs at all! (laughs) I've only had to have a fight one other time with a full-blown erection, and nobody enjoyed it. You're not going to like this either. (laughs) It's surprisingly difficult to fight with a boner. All the blood's in my dick. It's weird for everybody, okay? Do you have um, a cuff and chain? That excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I shout loudly uh, throughout the entire swamp that I've never had to have a fight. Or I've only had to fight with a I would like you all time. to roll for perception checks. Oh. As you are arguing about tugging on ropes. Oh, God. Nope. Nope. I fail. <laughs> no way. I'll use a twist. I get like a five. <clears throat> Um, we got 96 twists this time. Yeah, but we don't, wanna, we, yeah. we don't want to. We don't want to risk the curses. Well, you know? I don't want to. Uh, yeah. Uh oh. I, mean, I know that's no longer. I don't want to get blasted on my, on my. You know. No, it's funnier if you get blasted. <laughs> yeah, I'm still arguing with Gricko, and he's like trying to like show me the major. I, I would be totally out of it. Two yeah. medium tugs means danger. <laughs> 19. Doesn't make perfect 19. sense. Uh, 13. Okay. Grammy. Sorry, he was helping uh, me out with my sheet. 11. Okay. When you got a five? Yeah. All of you but Torbeck are <laughs> able to hear as Gideon calls out about his erection. Oh. Um, and at first. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Yeah, that's what happens. You guys know how a fight turns him on. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and it is very clear that he has found himself I in a position where he is. In there's no time to do the one. It's definitely the right. Okay. Like. Because it's Dex, right? You That's fine. Dex, yeah. That's fine. I just wanted to check. Yeah. There's no time to undo this rope. But you can. <laughs> yeah. No, I got you. Torbeck, there's no time to undo this rope. You're just going to have to hold it. <laughs> uh, okay. And Torbeck takes the rope and he's just like. Kitty <laughs> 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 ah, has an erection. We have to stop him. Yes, let's go. We have to stop him. Oh, you know, oh God, you don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it is your turn. All right. Uh, okay, I just, it, it's only one unseely fang. Hey, you can see. Damn. That's oh, hardcore shit. shit. Uh, I rolled an attack. <laughs> um, actually, I activate my flame form. Ooh. Um, and I rolled an attack. Dun, 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 dun. Fourteen. Oh, uh, 14. Uh, you, what, you're punching? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is she like up in a, like she's she's, up in a tree? So she's the tree the itself opening? is gnarled and old. It mm. looks like it is dead, if not at least dying. And there are whole pockets and holes in the, uh, the trunk of the tree. And she is perched inside one of those holes. Uh, and you... Uh, take your fist in and you imagine that you land it as you see that she shimmers, giggles, and you realize you see four different versions of her for a split second and you have clearly punched one of her mirror images. Nice. Um, That's good. As she, um, 
uh, she begins to laugh, but that's not all you hear. Uh-oh. As the sound of the tree begins to, um, the creak of the wood against your fist, you realize that the way that it's reverberating and shaking is unlike what it would do if it was just punched. As all of a sudden you see the branches begin to move oh, and the tree begins to shift. And where there had been gnarled knots, you see a face appear wakes me I fucking hate this place <laughs> uh, does the tree look waterlogged because we're in a swamp and everything's waterlogged uh, the tree looks old and dry <gasps> okay, okay. Can we get some music? Yeah, some battle music. Yeah. It's some free high BPM. To sing um, I don't know why this isn't playing. <laughs> <From> Fern Gully. <laughs> I really I think it should. That song, it's though. a great one. That's mine. That one work. I'm trying to find a good song that would work for this. Um, I can just do it. I just don't know. Do you want me to throw in some music? No, it just doesn't sound like it's light. I don't know. I have the volume all the way up. No, what is it? That's Mega Man. Flashman. Is it a flashman? Oh, maybe. Oh, there we go. There it is. I can't remember. It's not um, And with that, the tree... Um, the tree actually gets higher than the pixies uh, with a natural 20 um, for his initiative. And he is actually, no, that wouldn't be true. He got a 22. You got a 23. Tiger 22. Okay, so you guys are tied. I'll let you have it. Nice. Um, cards. And uh, so the uh, you hear laughing, uh, giggling as where you had seen just the one pixie, you now realize there are actually four pixies in these different pockets. And uh, all of them are going to, are looking towards you. However, it is at this time that your friends arrive. I would like you all to roll for initiative. Woo! Uh, oh, Christ. Dormant got a seven. Oh, no. Greco lost the dice. <laughs> this one's Torbeck. Oh, there it is. I found it. I got it. I got it. I got it with my monkey. Tor- Torbeck's name isn't even on the marker. <laughs> <laughs> How very Torbeck of me. I mean, I got a five. Oh, fuck it. What was my initiative? I, I think it's probably this. Roll it again. Oh. If you're not sure, roll it again. Thank what you. did you get, Kremi? Oh, don't fuck uh, you. Nine. Yes. Either way, wow. it sucks. Okay. Yeah, we're I think like seven, shit. seven, six, five. six. Seven, okay. Wow. wow. Yep. Six. Torment is okay. <laughs> so I'm so sorry, Gideon. I might kill you. Oh, um, all four of the pixies, since you are in front of them, you're the only person that has attempted to uh, harm them, are all going to roll against you. Go um, on, girls. Punch them with your loose 17. <laughs> 17 hits, 17 oh, hits. Oh, jeez. Um, so, that's a 19. Oh. 14. <laughs> 14 would miss. 19 would hit. 17. 14. 17 hits. So, um, three of them are going to... Um, <clears throat> You're going to watch as they point at you with their um, with their spindly fingers and shoot lightning bolts at you. Oh, um, Whoa, shocking graph. Perhaps. 18 points of damage from oh, my all classic. of them collectively. Oh, as you, they grab you by the nip. Like, uh, sizzle, 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 and pop. You watch as Gideon oh, is oh, zzz, oh, zzz, oh, as his body so shakes it, and, um, <laughs> and, uh, and shimmers with this electricity. And uh, that is their turn. They uh, look down at you and laugh. You silly, stupid thing! <laughs> Oh, you guys really suck. And you're hurting my feelings. <laughs> you thought you were gonna suck. <laughs> well, hey, hey, I don't know if this be the other way around. <laughs> Torbeck <laughs> chuckles from the bushes. <laughs> we might have gotten there, but I, you know, I think it was gonna start in a different position. But anyway, I can't paint a picture for you. We're battling. Die! Oh, is it back to me? Oh. Yeah. I mean, you can just keep riffing with him if you want. Oh. Wow. You can pass your turn and just fight with them. Nineteen. Oh, so are there more of them? So on there the field are four pixies. Okay. And one, um, one 
big barkless. Punch one of the pixies in the stomach. I, that's my plan. Yeah, I'm gonna punch one of the pixies directly in their stomach. Right in the stomach. 19 to hit. Right in the tum tum. Oh, that definitely hits. All right. You hear the home run, home, home run bat noise from uh, Super Smash yeah. Bros. It's like, next. Uh, and I'll use a bonus action and punch the same pixie a uh, second time. Is this the same pixie that you punched the Same pixie time? I just punched, yeah. Just hit her a second time. 20. 20 to hit the second pixie. And... Is that a different pixie? Well, no, 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 no. no. Same, same pixie. pixie. Same pixie. Yeah. Uh, and that's seven points of damage total. Uh, once again, you punch and punch, and two more of her mirror images disappear. Oh, wow. Stupid <laughs> That's it. Uh, it is the trance turn. It is going to look down at you, and it is going to take one branch, and it is going to slam into... It is the Hellboy trailer. What the fuck is that? No, it's not. It's a song called Carpe Diem. Um, And uh, that is going to hit. It was a natural 18. Uh, The second one I don't believe is going... Ooh, actually, 16? The 16 hit. 16 misses. Okay, so the 16 misses, but you are hit by um, the branch attack. Um, That scared me. What about her fingers? He's a right old ass, so what the boy can play. <laughs> Thirteen points of bludgeoning damage as you are uh, as you are hit by one of these branches. Um, he is going to use his bonus action, and he is going to reach down and attempt to bite a chunk out of you. Mm. Why it with a natural twenty? Uh, Ooh. I react. <gasps> As the, uh, the heat gauge on my Ooh. manacles will uh, kick up two notches into second gear, my chains will whir to life, a uh, red flaming heat will reach out as he attempts to bite me. Uh, it, it will, uh, I don't know how fucking big this tree is, or like if he's got lips or something, but it will wrap you, you around You see as it opens tree. its long mouth and it has sharp serrated, which looks like wooden teeth. The chains will redirect his attack at to, to one of the pixies. Okay. Thomas had never seen such bullshit Pick one. before. <laughs> Pick one. Um, one of the ones I have not hit yet. Maybe if I was hitting, the, like, Pixie 1, I'll hit Pixie 2. Okay. And it, would, it, would, it keeps the same attack. So you Great, roll, it does crit. that, and you watch as he reaches, as he swings over, and bites down on one of the pixies as she's hanging out of one of the hollows in the tree. Um, but just like the others, it oh. uh, crushes one of her mirror images. Oh my gosh. We have so much to get through. Oh, this is gonna be tough. Oh, <laughs> mirror image is no joke. You would know. I do. You would know. Can we say it's Priz mirror image? What? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Cremy, it is your turn. Do I have like a full understanding that this is like? I a- easily yes. Oh, you fuck, literally, Gideon. you see Gideon, parts of him, or parts of his garb is um, on fire from these small electrical fires that have been created. Um, and uh, he is, uh, he is significantly wounded as this gigantic tree looms over him. And you see these uh, four uh, hor- horrific looking pixies leaning out of the knots in the tree and sh- just shooting a bolt of lightning after bolt of lightning from their face. Still fingers. fully erect. <laughs> Still fully erect. <laughs> now it's his boner. penis is working like a lightning rod <laughs> as it collects all oh, the electricity. Oh, <laughs> I see that. <laughs> and you just go back into the bushes. <laughs> he always seems to be doing that. <laughs> I'll pick up my cane and I'll shoot uh, two of these blasts at the tree. Okay. Not two. One. <laughs> four. That's pretty good. 20 to hit. That hits. Who knows when I'm gonna get a rest, so I'm not using no resources on this. No, by my calculations, by this time tomorrow in this reality, it'll be October in our <laughs> 13 <laughs> points of damage. <laughs> you, um. That is not right. <laughs> 
I can't do math. Unmarked black tombstone goes next. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you you do uh, you do a good amount of damage as the uh, the tree lets out this uh, creaking groan as it turns its attention to you. Uh, it opens its mouth and and howls out into the air. Um, mm. And you um, you see that you have uh, directed its ire towards you as a small black tombstone. It is your turn. Oh. <laughs> uh, Torbeck will come stumbling through the bushes, uh, rope still in hand and around his waist. And uh, I am roughly within 30 feet. Uh, Torbeck will yell, uh, Don't worry, Gideon! Torbeck will try to help! And Torbeck will attempt to close distance and attack one of the the fairies. Pixies, what are they? Okay. Yeah, pixies. pixies. You make it 15 feet, and then you realize that the rope is a tug. Just tell me on one, something. two, three, or four. <laughs> um, I know you should be able to make it, right? Yeah. Yeah, just make it. To Number the four. four. Assume oh, it's reach, right? Okay. I do, yeah, so 10 feet away. Oh, wow. Ooh, that's going to be a 22 to hit. That hits. Uh, you watch as Torbeck kind of ungracefully runs towards these creatures and rears back with a super perfectly normal bugbear claw and makes an unarmed attack and deals three damage. And it does. Uh, and you see as you <sighs> slice through and all of your nails spread where there had been mirror images, you are able to slice through all of them as oh. you rend the pe- pixie into pieces. It's it's very clearly just a big bugbear paw. It, it's not what but it looks just like a normal bugbear paw, and it just and I Ooh. swat away one of the mirror images. And I know you you completely annihilate the pixie. Oh, <laughs> oh, Torbeck found the right. There's like pixie blood and like Everywhere. rings on on it's his just in his all fur. over your hand. Oh, no. it, it, looks like, turns, it looks like you smashed a mosquito with your with your. With your Torbeck hand. turns and looks. Torbeck helps, and that's Torbeck's turn. <laughs> Greco. Um, so because they are all, um, they're all sharing the same space, right? No, they're in four different, they're in four different holes on the tree. No, what I mean is that as far as, as mechanically speaking, because they're tiny creatures, they're all, like, mechanically speaking, they're all, this is the tree, and they're all in the tree. They're all in the tree in different holes, yes. Okay, got it. So I am going to say, uh, oh, get it, Hoochie, gotta save uh, Uncle Gideon, and I'll play my, on, uh, my ocarina. Uh, a little tune <laughs> as a, uh, a frog hemus spirit will emerge behind me and lash out at one of them as I'm going to use a bonus action to uh, uh, strike it and I'm going to I think it's a spell attack and that's, it, is, it, is a, it is a warring spell attack uh, oh my god I thought I was ready for this uh, uh, where the hell is my d20 oh well this one uh, that is going to terribly miss. I am going to actually go to actions here. There we go. There we go. There we go. Uh, it is a th- thirteen to hit. Uh, thirteen does hit. Let me shoot. Yeah, thirteen does hit. Okay, mm-hmm. I'm going to roll uh, damage. One d eight radiant damage. Uh, so that's three plus five is uh, eight points of radiant damage. And then I'll play uh, to which one? Uh, to um, whichever one is looking the nastiest. Okay. Um, I will give you. I will give you the one that hasn't been hurt yet. Um, she looks like a nasty bitch. What a nasty bitch! Uh, number three. And um, <clears throat> would this kind of spell be? Um, is it like an area of? It's not. So an it's, area this of is attack. basically. Just, it's not technically a spell. It's just basically my druid, my druid starry form attack. I basically, for, I'm choosing so the form of the archer. So the mirror image would still. Yes, it would okay. get. It would get. It would uh, get. It's intact. So yes. Okay, so uh, you would blast away one of its mirror. Images. Okay, and then I'm gonna go. Do 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 do. <laughs> Get fucked by Moonbeam. <laughs> As uh, you'll hear some mantra sounding hoots, it's like a four winged owl will appear and just blast a moonbeam down on top of this tree. Uh, they will all need to make a uh, dexterity saving throw. I need to make, hold on, make a saving throw of some kind. Uh, constitution, actually. Whoa. <laughs> 
Uh, so uh, the tree gets a natural 20. Okay. Uh, number one fails. Number two gets a 19, natural 19. And number three gets a natural one. Okay. So the DC. So one in three, I'm assuming, fail. Yeah, DC is 15. Okay. Yeah. Um, and so I think. So, so those who succeed uh, take half of so one six and points. one and three are completely annihilated as this Ooh. moonbeam just uh, eviscerates six them. Actually, damage. two is also and then the ones who succeed take three damage. The ones who fail is. take six. I don't want to risk that song. Also, radiant damage. A lot of radiant damage. If anything was remotely, <laughs> can't come, you know. Yeah, I know. That's why. YouTube. That's why I stopped it. Um, and actually, two is also completely annihilated by the shimmering light of the moonbeam as they are minions, so they only have one hit point. Um, oh, and uh, someone in chat called you Doctor Pixie Popper. <laughs> 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 Doctor Poison. <laughs> uh, and then, how much was the damage? Uh, so three, if they succeeded, six if they failed. Okay, and so the tree takes three damage. Uh, he lets out a loud yell as uh, he sees the pixies are all um, limp, hanging out of the uh, the knots on his on his form he seemed to be very fond of them as he oh. lets out a horrifying oh uh scream and his rage Lord, increases you see his is. eyes uh, illuminate with a reddish hatred uh, as he looks towards you Grico. uh look, frost it's your turn look at look out gideon uh oh does hootsie get to go on my turn oh i didn't roll an issue for hootsie or she go on my turn she, goes on, she goes on your oh uh are all the there. pixies go- gone i don't think yeah. i want to have her attack the tree all of the pixies are gone okay I'll say, go, go support Uncle Gideon. And she's going to stand here and take the help action on Gideon. Um, and, uh, yeah, and that's it. Seeing all this and seeing us so violently and immediately kill all of these pixels. <laughs> <laughs> Does Frost kind of have any sense that the tree would listen or back down like it's obvious, I would right? say you are violently killing these pixies but looking over at Gideon he has been tricked and then immediately attacked he is singed and seared from blast after blast of lightning bolts ripped my shirt off it's just all flaming hot fire genasi skin and suspenders your shirt went into a loop barrel <laughs> it's a cum barrel uh, coming back. Oh, it's cum barrel. oh it is now after a couple yeah, of snaps it's a jar <laughs> oh now on the fourth oh. on the fourth snap we had to upgrade to a barrel <laughs> oh, uh, I remember that from the original game Doom um uh, and yet, through all of it, he's still hard <laughs> yeah. to hit. Yeah, when did he show up? I was down. I was in the refractory period. <laughs> <laughs> so the third Seder woman is <laughs> I'll, I'll yell out. Yeah. No, no, no. I will communicate telepathically. Yeah. I'll communicate telepathically. Um, and as I'm doing this, I'll reach into my pocket and I'll pull three of my uh, beans out of my bag. And I'll hold them and I'll say, Tree, hear me. I'm not sure how this battle came to be, but I have these very powerful blasting beans if you continue to attack my friends I will be forced to use them on you but back down show that you are willing to talk and we can end this violence Roll a persuasion check. Are you sure that intimidation because he's threatening him with violence? <laughs> I mean, actually, yeah, intimidation. Oh, just such a nerd. Mm, be careful or I'll hurt you. <laughs> what? No, you won't. Uh, we can, uh, that was all in your mind. I'm right? readying my action if he looks like he's going to strike any of my friends. I'll okay. throw the three babies. <gasps> and, uh, oh, my God. Intimidation, you say? Yeah. Just straight? Oh, mm-hmm. my God. 11. <laughs> okay, uh, he lets out another howl out into the night, um, and he looks towards Gricka with a pure malice. Back down. We, we can resolve this peacefully. Uh, Gideon, it's your turn. Frost, just hit them, man! They're trying to blast my dick off! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's up? Oh, hey, everybody. This isn't what it looks like, alright? <laughs> Covered in oil, shirtless, <laughs> 
glitter. Anybody? What does it look like to you? Dead pixies everywhere. <laughs> Dead pixies everywhere. If you show up six seconds ago, fully erect now <laughs> in the refractory period. Uh, <laughs> Thank God around six seconds. Why are Gideon's pants wet? <laughs> well, we are in a swamp, too, man. We are in a swamp. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, okay, okay. It's time to heat things up. Tree? You're going down, uh, and all class. Just does my, that for every song. I don't know. I'll clasp my uh, manacles together, and they will uh, they will condense flame towards them and blast out a cone of fire as I cast burning hands. Okay. Uh, it has to make a dexterity saving throw, okay. and it shoots out in a 15 foot cone in front of me. Oh, it fails. I love burning oh. hands. Oh, it's actually Twig's turn, so I'll have you oh. go, and then I'll have Twig's. Twig, uh, Twig it go. It takes 11 points of fire damage, Damn. and if it is flammable, it is now on fire. It <laughs> is flammable, and you notice that the fire damage seems to do significantly more than you expect oh, uh, as the, um, the bits of its limbs begin to pop and crackle <sighs> as this thing uh, ignites into flame. Oh. Nice. Right back um, up, Gideon. Twig is going to go. Run, run, run away. I'm um, gonna do a thing. She is. <laughs> she rushes towards your side. Um, Don't worry, Gideon. I'm gonna. Uh, uh, can you turn the other way? What? It's on my head. No, I'm in the refractory period. This isn't canonical right okay, now. Um, no, I'm not fully erect, all right? Do you even know what the refractory period is, Twig? And she's going to miss her first hit. Uh, and also her third as she tries not to look. No, and, don't be distracted. Uh, There's nothing happening. Don't be distracted by what you think is going on. This is just, this is one of Gringo's bananas. It's just my wallet. That's the and she's gonna miss. <laughs> yeah, those satyrs would have been saying the same thing if they weren't horrible recreations and tricked me into this combat. Uh, it is the tree's turn. It is going to look down at you, who's just ignited it, and it is going to um, make a branch attack. Uh, and it is definitely going to hit with a 26. On me? Yeah. Oh. Um. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Long rest. Yeah. <laughs> they shot me in my dick with lightning That's five right. times. That's gotta be wrong. Hold on, I rolled a... Okay, so... No, oh, no. yeah, yeah, no, that, that's wrong, that's wrong. Like okay, so t- 16 points of damage. Uh-huh. What does the help action do? Does that help uh, at all? No, it means you he should then, have had advantage on his You then watch oh. as one of his branches oh, uh, begins to reach up and begin right. to grasp yeah. around you as he's going to make his second attack on you, which is going to be a 25. Um, <gasps> My you bones. are grappled, and you are going to take... Nine points of bludgeoning damage oh, okay. at the start of your turn, so it doesn't happen now. Okay, but you will make it at the start of your turn. As the first uh, blow lands, <laughs> he's on then it. going to make oh. his bonus action, and he is going to bite you. Time to roll. But up that's that road. going to fail. Okay. Oh. Um, as the first blow lands on me, I take the, the hit clean across my chest, and I just say, oh, this wasn't the beating I was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> as I collapse onto the ground, incapacitated. Uh, oh, no, so in I'm his arms, because he's grappling you. No, the first hit would have incapacitated me. Right. So the second The hit second one hasn't didn't do damage. done damage yet, but you are oh, held like in his... Even a third hit. No, but the he third attempted. hit would auto-crit you for two death. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, wait, it's so, a, yeah, the bites would have auto-hit. Yeah. It's a giant on Titan. Yeah, you have, two, you have two failed death saves as you collapse oh. in his grasp and he bites into you. Well, sweet. I hope you guys didn't like Gideon as a character. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no, that's it. That's I exactly what I like <laughs> No, you cannot. That oh. this kills Gideon. Yeah, no, you're right, it does. What? Uh, I throw my three beans. 
And <laughs> no, you, you can you can pull off on this unready to action. Can you? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah I mean, I, you I be guess able to I'll allow you. You have to use your reaction in order to do it. It's like I'm going to use your reaction no, no, no. to do my ready to action. Readying the action uses consumes the reaction. No, it and, uses and your. No, 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 no. You you it uses your action. And then when it comes time to for the trigger, you have to use your reaction. You can choose no, whether you do or not. I believe that is incorrect. I yeah. believe that it, it, it takes your reaction. No, look it up. It's her call. You're not to, the DM. Yeah. You're not the DM. You, you make it, the it's call. Up to Angela. That's right. It is up to Angela. Put your phones down. No, right? I'm not, I'm not looking it up. that as soon as the trigger occurs, the player has the choice whether they actually want to follow through or cancel. I've read okay. that fucking book three <laughs> times. No, 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 we're talking about reactions, whether it they're is, used at the moment that you ready no, the action. No, it doesn't use it your doesn't reaction. Matter. Because you are, you, are, you are holding your action and choosing to do your action at a different point. Do I have to roll Schmidian? Ready your action uses your reaction at the moment. Do I have to roll Schmidian? Well, that's irrelevant if you choose whether... Hello, hello, hello. We're Whoa. arguing about rules. Yeah. We're ruining um, our friendships. We're ruining <laughs> our friendships. <laughs> 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 What, what matters is that I can choose, you can to, choose to cancel. And seeing the damage and the life going on. You choose on, to throw the beans anyway. I choose to throw the beans anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, obviously, I hold, and uh, in the mind of the triad. But you that hear does my mean voice. that you lose your turn. I lose my ready to action. To the music. Oh no, it's the, no, it's the coffee pot. The <laughs> microwave <laughs> goblins are here. Yeah. Hello, Raiders. Welcome. Hello, hello Raiders. Hello. 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 We're probably going to the shadow folks. Yeah, so, so uh, uh, yes, you <laughs> you can choose not to choose. You can yeah, choose yeah. to cancel your ready to action, but then you don't get an action until your next turn. I know everything oh, refreshes yeah, on my next yeah, turn. Yeah. That's yeah. fine. I just, I am very happy not to kill Gideon in this moment. I know, so I, I think that's great. I would prefer you don't However, kill Gideon. However, my reaction was taken when I took the ready action. It was not. <laughs> Because then it would it would never work. That, that action would literally be worthless, and it wouldn't work. Anyway, it's Kremmy's turn. Can we play it? In, in? It yeah. is Kremmy's turn. Stay tuned for a I, I don't do this thing. <laughs> Move on. You don't do this. Uh, I see Gideon lying lifeless. I'm up in the air, suspended by the prince. Yeah, like, you're you're crap. held aloft by this tree ant. Ah oh, shit! Did I take a chunk out of his arm? Ah, uh, I would have cigar still in my mouth. So this has a face. If he wasn't grappled, yeah. be okay. But now Torbeck has no hope. It How? is it is a tree blight. How long? Oh. Oh. I know those. Did it? Oh no! Where did it? Where is its turn? It's fine. Uh, its turn was after yours. Yeah. So it just went. That's why you are now unconscious. I just want to say directly, it's on fire, and everything takes fire. Damn it! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're basically well, immune. Well, no. I take half damage from fire. Yes, so it you did that to it. It should take some fire damage on its turn. Right. But that would have happened before it attacked you. So I will not include that in why do you want to die? I don't I understand. I'm just no, saying, like, you're, oh, you're fine. You're fine. How much fire damage would it have taken on its turn? I don't know. I actually don't know how burning works. It just says it's ignited. Roll a D6 it and it will it will take one D6 oh, on one, each yeah. of its turns. That makes sense to me. Three. Angela, I have a question. Yes, uh, is, Angelo. Is this is this Winter Splinter's cousin, Summer Mummer? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's where we're gonna end the session tonight. <laughs> Summer Mummer. Uh, Coming. What you doing? Oh God, I don't know what I can do. How long do bananas last? Would I still have some from last night? That's twenty four hours. Oh. I believe uh, you gave me. Some. I gave you twenty. And I did. I never use them in the fucking pie, right? Don't don't they go away at the every day? Like I don't think you can stock up on good berries. Do they have a duration? They last. This is very important. I believe they last. 20, I believe they last twenty four hours. They last twenty four hours, yeah. but when you cast them, they use your reaction. <laughs> This, this really matters. Uh, there's chess. They last, last for 24 hours. They last for 24 hours. Yeah. Oh my god. I long rest, they, they disappear. Long rest, they disappear. What? No. I mean, I they trust what you're reading. They nope. don't. They don't. They lose their potency if it's not been seen within 24 hours of casting the spell. There, there you go. go. Oh, okay. Which, which yeah. really, if you're a druid and you have some leftover spell slots at the end, yeah, of the yeah night, you should be. You should. Yeah, 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 from the right. mouths of babes. From the mouth of bananas. Also, Rico. I forgot that I gave you fucking all those fucking bananas for the banana bread you never made. 
Uh, what I will say is Gideon is held aloft in the arms of this thing. Yeah. This is a giant uh, tree. So you right. would have how, to find... How high up is he? I would say he's probably... How tall is a large oak? <laughs> Fucking tall. I mean, I mean he's probably it could be 30, 40 feet. Probably yeah, 10. I was say like 20 meters. Oh, if they're like right up there. So yeah. I was thinking I would 20 feet, but like he reached down, grabbed you, and pulled you up. So. That makes sense. <laughs> Don't drop me. <laughs> um. Hmm. <laughs> And it's an enemy that's next, or is it Torbeck that's next? It's Torbeck. Torbeck Tor- 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 is the Black <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Torbeck, I can't do anything. But please, please, I need you to take this. And I give you one banana as my free object interaction mm-hmm. if I can. Yeah, of course. See <laughs> <laughs> no! it again and fly. And I'm going to reach into my back. To pixie dust and sprinkle pixie dust on Torbeck, giving him a flying speed. Oh! Oh! Like a cat, I still like a cat. Like in midair. Perfect, love Do it. Do what I can. <laughs> love that. Perfect, that's a great action. Uh, Torbeck, it is your turn. You are now floating through the air. This is a strange experience for you. You have never flown before, and you are trying to figure out how to manipulate the air around you to propel yourself upward. Uh, And you do find that it begins to come naturally, as I believe it is 30 feet for pixie dust. 30 feet of flying, and you can hover for a minute. Well, And there you go. Uh, You are well within range to get to Gideon and administer the banana. It's appropriate. Hold on, Gideon! Torbeck is coming! <laughs> and I will uh, swim fly as fast as my furry arms and legs will take me. And as soon as I get within 10 feet, because I don't have to get that close, oh, I ram the banana down his <laughs> throat! <laughs> Very reminiscent of what I did to Garicka by sticking my fingers like all the way down as my horrifically long furry fingers, I pushed the banana down his throat. <laughs> Roll, roll for health. Oh, it's just, it's just one, one, you, it's, one you have point, one yeah. hit point, okay. and you are no longer dying. Oh, at the start oh. of its turn, also, it's still in the moonlight. <gasps> Wait, what? Oh no! But that would have happened at the start of his turn, and he did but, incapacitate okay. uh, Gideon be? until after oh. that would have happened. So, so the, the tree still need, takes it. Yeah, I do so just need to know how much throw. And so, wait, would I have been hit by Moonbeam? No, you're out. You're technically out of he, it. He's reaching he, out. He passes. Yeah. He got a natural nineteen, so he passes oh his dexterity. Uh, so that, that will be. He'll only take two points of, of okay. radiant damage. So no, does, nobody survived it. Nope. Just hold on. He I'll does go, really take good. two points of damage. One, one point. Sorry, it's bad. He, takes one point, <laughs> one point of damage. Um, but this would have happened before you were incapacitated, before he even grabbed you, so it would not have affected you at all. Awesome. How long does the flight last? Like an hour? A minute. A, a minute. minute. So a minute. basically That's for the rest of this combat. Not more than enough time. I yeah. think it's a minute, yeah. And if it's not, it's a minute now. Uh, Gricko, it's your turn. Two. Uh, uh, so I will use my bonus action to say, put my friend down! And the big froggy myth tongue will lash out. I'm going to make a, uh, a range spell attack. That is going to fail catastrophically, unless a nine hits, which I don't think a it, nine does it, not it will not hit. hit. His AC is 15. Uh, I will then, um... <laughs> I'll, sc- I'll scamper. Oh man! Oh. I can't. I need to get up and touch him. Would I be? No, I would have to. Well, I'm, not, I'm up in the air, so I'm not on the field of play in front of you. No, you I know. Play. I just need to figure out a way to get there. Any bonus action? I already, I already. Well, I mean, I can't. I need to heal him. I don't know. What is that? <laughs> this is Carpe Diem by Adrian von Ziegler. Oh, I guess Adrian. What just... is there a way? Why it doesn't? Feel free to say no to this. Would I be able to try to jump on Hootsie, Mario, this shit? Jump on Hootsie, grab onto Torbeck, and scamper up him to try to touch Gideon. I would say you could use, you could do an acrobatics check at disadvantage okay. because you're in the heat of battle. <laughs> um, but if you do well, you could use your movement to scale the tree. You get a Super Mario World and see. Torbeck's Tor- got a, a rope tied to his filthy sack. It's around oh, my waist, but yes. Oh, 
Oh, that's rope. true. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the rope would actually still be on the ground. I mean, if yeah. Oh, no, yeah. It's 50 feet. It's 50 feet. Yeah. Then yes, yeah. it's on the ground. You could, you could try I will to say, I still want you to make the acrobatics because you're climbing a rope, but I'm not going to have you make, make it a disadvantage. Okay, I'm going right. to make another, another roll. He's wow. Like, wow. Yeah, Full circle I'm using, I'm using, I'm using, I'm using, I'm using. She's going to get Yoshi. Natural 20. <laughs> It, it's uh, it's that level where you're being chased by the ooze and Donkey Kong Country too. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so I'm, I'm climbing up Torbeck's oh, rope. I'm coming up. You're gonna feel you're gonna feel many frantic tons, Torbeck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to reach up and say, uh, and I'm going to uh, cast Healing Touch uh, at a second level. Um, or cure wounds, not yeah, healing touch. Wounds, that right, is, right. uh, that's a, a druid god. spell. The fucking rope. Oh my god. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. That's nice. Uh, that's, uh, seven, pl- uh, so that is 11 plus seven, 18 points of healing. Oh! oh. Back in the game. Back in the game, The Erection returns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm out of the refractory period, boy! Uh, and with that, it is Frost's turn. I got nothing. I don't know what to do. I'm not climbing ropes and being all cool. Um, how's this tree looking? Uh, he is looking fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah I cool. think Gideon is really the only one who's hit him. He's he's taken. He, he took a 13 hit, a three hit. <laughs> no, hold on. He's taken a 13 hit, a three hit, a 22 hit. And a one. Yeah, three That's and one it. is all I did. I did the 13 to him. I did four. Ooh, Nothing. I did if you did the 22, because oh, you do double, double damage because yeah. of the fire. And I see all of this unfurling in front of me. Oh, can Hootsie slash it as what we think about what you're in? Yeah, yeah slash she it has an tree. Go do it, Hootsie! You now have pack tactics, thanks to updated rules. How many people are within 10 feet right now? I'm being held by. I mean, Torbeck, Gricko, Hootsie. Right, the only right. person not would be crazy. Uh Torbeck would be flying near him. Like right in front of him. But in so. the air, if you could throw it at his at the base of him, maybe his hand, his arms are high enough. It's above. a 10-feet radius Seven. explosion. We're 20 feet in the air? Yeah. We're oh. 20 feet in the air? I would, oh. I would say for yes, you could so if you were yes. if you were trying to avoid Gideon, Gricko, and Torbeck, you could do that. But you would hit Hootsie. Oh my God, Hootsie just fucking wrecked this kid. She did. Hold on, he did seven plus eight, <clears throat> fifteen plus um plus four. Twelve. So 15 plus, plus 4 oh, is 19. Yeah. 19 points of slashing damage. Oh. As Hootsie goes up, <coughs> and she stands up awkwardly on her hind legs. Hootsie <laughs> hears a voice in her mind. Hootsie, brace yourself. I'm sorry. There's only one way to save our friends. You're going to have to take a little burn. <laughs> <laughs> and I will toss the three beans that I'm holding at the foot of this tree ant. You do that. Uh, it needs to make a dexterity saving throw. It can either make them all at once, or it can make uh, three of them. What's the DC? Uh, the DC is 15. It misses. It, or it fails. It, it fails, fails all of them. Yes. Okay. I need it, is, it is a stationary <laughs> trait. Its ability <laughs> to be dexterous is That's difficult. It. Three. Um, I need... Uh, D4s. Can I can I get uh, D4s? Oh, yeah, I got a lot of them. 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 That's so many. Here. Tell me when to stop. Tell me when to that's stop. One. Tell me when to uh, stop. That's two. Uh, I need uh, three more D4s. Oh. Three more D4s. Wow. That's all wow. I got. Oh, my God. Yeah, any, more th- any more D4s? Yeah, yeah, Not yeah, that yeah, I have. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Hold on. I'm out. I'm out. You can't be dry. <laughs> You can roll some D's. I don't even know if that's my die. I don't think that is. Oh, I'm spent. That's okay, three. That's three. That's three. That's three. That's three. That's three. Yeah. That's three. That's three. <laughs> no, no, no. Give me one of them. All right, take that one. One, two, three. Okay. Everyone, oh, pay Lord. attention to how many. Yeah, I'm gonna roll fifteen D four dice. Whoa. <laughs> that's decent money. Yes. Uh, four. Six. <laughs> yes. Nine. Thirteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Twenty. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Twenty-eight. 31, 
34, 37, 41 points of fire damage. For how many D4s? And this is it's fire damage, you said? Uh-huh. What's the radius? And what, is there a roll? It's a, it's a 10 Where, radius. I already rolled. Yeah, uh, he no, failed. You see. rolled a <laughs> shot. Oh, yeah, it's a uh, dexterity, dexterity oh, saving throws. Yeah, it's, it's, just, it's just Tootsie, just, okay. uh, but it DC is dexterity, 15, dexterity saving throws. You rolled really well there, Derek. Holy smokes. Oh. oh, thank God she passes. So she takes half, so she'll take oh, 21. Sh- 20, yeah, she'll take 20. <laughs> no, she's, actually, she's still up, she's still up. The <laughs> 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 blast goes off and she just goes... <laughs> the blast goes off Jeez. and Hootsie is in the very middle of it and uh, she uh, she yelps out as she takes a significant Ooh. amount of damage. She Another rears back her feathers on fire um, oh. as uh, Gricko looks down at horror or in horror as to what is happening to Hootsie. Damn. But it is those it is you, Gideon, who is in the grasp of this tree that feels the the blast of this the most as an eruption of flame spews up from the base of this tree as you hear a loud guttural <clears throat> groan and then a silence that is almost unnerving as you hear pops and cracks inside of this tree as it splits in two. The grasp that this, uh, that this uh, tree blight had on you um, is loosened as you fall to the ground taking six points of uh, fall damage. And you, uh, you hit the earth with a actually a soft bounce. It was significantly less damage than you would expect given how soft the ground itself is as you watch the tree completely split in two and begin to um, begin to burn as the the magical beans that Frost threw at it uh, ignite the entire core of this entity and you watch as it begins to um, as the, the embers glow and sizzle and pop. You have smoted this tree. Ah, Nootsie! One fell swoop. <laughs> nice dodging, nice moves, just like Papa taught you. Well done, Nootsie. I'll slide down the rope. Uh, 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 oh, man. Apology. Are you okay? Are you okay? Did you hear have some bananas? A loud sound rents the air. At first, it's hard to tell exactly what it is. Uh-huh. And then the sound of flapping wings. As you, all of your attention looks towards the sky and you see directly in the very center of the split tree, a barn owl, its wings flapping this way and that. Its head spins almost 360 as it turns to look at all of you. And then you begin to see its shape move and shift. And that is where we're at. Oh my God. Oh, oh no. Holy shit. <laughs> Well, done. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Uh, I'm excited. I for one am excited. It's second form. I'm excited. I was just as I crash into the ground after tore back had his fingers all the way down my throat and the tree was wrapped around my neck. I said, Oh, it's just like a party at David. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez, oh, no, 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 no. What was that? Oh jeez. <laughs> so no, 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 I no, I can't. Yeah, yeah, no, I know exactly. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. I'll write it down on a piece of paper and I'll slide it. I would bet there. every single person knows what I was going for. <laughs> David Busters? Yeah, Dan Busters, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, exactly, that was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're doing Adventures in Chill, which is after every stream session of D&D that we do, we talk about our favorite moments, we theorize, and most importantly, we answer all of your questions in the comments. So don't go anywhere. Stick around. Uh, if you can't stick around, then join us next Wednesday for another episode of Once Upon a Witch Light. Um, but you should stick around and join our Discord and check out our Patreon and also look at our merch shop. Uh, anything else that we need to... We're back on Wednesday. Thank people. Yeah, oh, see you we're going to thank people real quick. Yes, we do have to thank people. Thank I was thinking about that. Uh, Mesa's but... been on top of it. Oh, when was the last one? You've been on top of it for six years. We got all this. Dude, we got did this. we? Oh, I trust you guys. Yeah, we got... 
I think this one we haven't gotten. So Unholy uh, cheered 490 bits, says y'all are Thank absolutely you. funny. I know I see this every time, but you guys are amazing. I hear that happiness Thank and you. laughter keep you younger, keep spreading Thank joy you. to the world. We Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Jay Falls cheered 500 bits. Thank you, Jay Falls. Bubbles so cheered Dread and says that was amazing, Nikki. Thank you. Yeah, Bubbles. Bubbles cheered a twist. We're gonna need this most Thank you. Yeah, we did. Char 1994 cheered a Dread. Thank you. Uh, Paladin Mags again with the raid. Incredible. Thank you. Thank Welcome. You so much. Oh, thank you. Um, so, so generous. Hard Knock Dice with the raid. Really appreciate it. Thank you. And uh, Mr. Greenman. Uh, two gifted subs. Gifted two subs. Thank uh, you. One thing before we switch over, yeah. I think is worth mentioning, is that we've got something pretty fresh and interesting happening on Memorial Day. Oh. That's oh. right. Uh, it is a good time for a reminder. I appreciate that, Derek. We're doing something. Something big. We're adding a second stream night to our schedule. It's going to be on Monday nights. It's starting on June, sorry, May 29th. I don't even know what day, day or month it is anymore. May 29th. It's a Monday. It's a Memorial Day weekend. We are kicking off a brand new stream night called Neon Nights, an adventurous talk show. <gasps> And more information on that to come. That's all I can tell you. We're going to be streaming on Mondays. That's very yeah. exciting. Weekly. It does what it says on the yeah. end. Yeah. It's <laughs> a talk show. Yeah. And it's at night. night. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of neon. Uh, thank you for the reminder. Yes. That was. And, Second uh, With that, don't go anywhere. We're going to hang out, talk about the session, uh, answer your questions. And with that, let's show. Big Possum Ass, will that be streamed here? Yes. It'll be on Twitch. Right here. here. On the event. Same bad time. Oh, and not actually. Save that time, not save that day. Save that channel, though. Maybe. We'll see. Stay tuned for more info.